actually need to finish the town first. Wait, what change of plans happened? <clears throat> Nothing. Staying for the festival? <laughs> no, 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 not staying for the festival. If you're just staying for the festival, I wouldn't need to make sure a battle map is ready now, would I? <laughs> oh, what did it jump my bandits? <laughs> oh, you wish. We are wish. jumping the bandits. Um, how the fuck? Why doesn't it let me, uh... change the the window sizes of anything yet the is it if is it locked or what uh, no they're both unlocked uh, i'm not sure oh it just maybe Hey, we talked at the same time. Ooh. Yeah, so, like, I can't... Can't seem to change huh? shit over here. Oh, if it... Uh, let me give a second. Not the full screen. Uh, you're locked up. Uh, what is the thing you're trying... Like, I want to make the camera window, like, much smaller and move it over. Uh, click on the camera on the actual preview itself. Nothing happens when I do that. Yours looks weird compared to mine. It's Streamlabs. You're in editor mode. How do I leave editor mode? I don't know. That's what you said, your Streamlabs looks different than mine. Uh, click off of studio mode. On the left. I'm gonna click off the editor, I guess. And you go in the top left, you have the editor thing clicked on. Click that off. I can't click that off. I can do this, but like, I can't. Yeah. yeah. You should be able to click on the actual source. So when you click on the source, it should highlight it. And then you should be able to drag, move it, and reduce the size and everything else. Hmm. Uh, that doesn't look right. Yeah, that doesn't it doesn't it look a little bit off compared to ours, Jacob? Uh, I don't know. I'm not looking at it. Okay. I didn't see it. Yeah. Because like whenever I do it, it here. Let me uh show you mine. I totally don't use this time we're playing to create, you know, mazes and traps and death for you. It's alright. Technical difficulties of the time, Jacob can build maps. Okay, oh, so I, 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 I could resize it. Now I gotta figure out how to move it. So, so here's what mine looks like. And I don't know why yours looks different than mine does. I don't know if it's... Oh, it's maybe because you have selective recording on. But basically, I'm able to click on it. I'm able to like make it invisible, make it visible. I can lock it, unlock it. I can change, double click on it to do whatever. Um, like for example, this one here, I can unlock it. I can change the size. I can alt, left click and bring out more or less of it depending on how much I need. Huh. Um, yeah, no, it's, uh, it, it definitely won't let me do that. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. That's it. That's weird, man. That's fucking stupid. <laughs> um. Turn that off. Justin, Jacob, what episode are we on? Alright, what? 14. Thank you.
Thank you, your prob. No problem. Thank you, a problem? Uh, I'm thinking of other things right now. My brain is distracted. <laughs> Help, he's having a stroke. Oh, Dustin. So, you know how I was told if I am too tired to jump the what and I think I'll fall asleep too tall in? And I have been driving for seven hours today and have been up since 6 a.m.? I'm probably going to tall in today. Okay. I'm to probably go a little longer than normal. Because Bonnie said if I think I'm going to fall asleep at work, take your vacation day. So dumb, why can't I, like, fucking move anything? That's what I was trying to figure out. I don't really understand why yours is weird. I, I don't get it. That might be something we figure out in a later date. Yeah. I guess. This is annoying. Let's just go with your friend later. Which means I'm gonna have no fucking camera on this stream. Oh no, what will they do? They can't see our faces. They're missing they so much. They can't see... Dustin. Oh, and mm -hmm. other news, with the thing happening with wizards, y'all know the people who make Pathfinder Paizo? Uh, I guess I do now. Uh, no. Yeah, they straight up went, hey, you know, the OGL is a good thing, and if wizards has a problem with it, we'll take them to court, because we know you smaller companies can. Nah. Yeah, no, Wiz Wizards has kind of already backed out, but they're not fully abandoning their plan. Yeah. The plan to screw everyone over. Yeah. yeah. Wizards, though, was Wizards. They've, like, they've yeah. go they went back and were like, oh, we're not talking about cosplayers and live streams. We're not, we're just talking about people who publish things now. And everyone's uh -huh. like, but you're still keeping in the fact that you're able to revert this at any point in time, so. What yeah, we make the rules, and we can change them at any time, and at any time you have to uh, abide by them, regardless of when you published your whatever. Right, and they were trying to back, they were trying to backlog everything that's that's happened. They were going to like say like every company that has been posting stuff under their OGL before the change is all now now null and void, and they could just snap that up. It reminds me of YouTube's uh, terms of service. That's exactly what I was thinking, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, so, Pathfinder Company was like, yeah, Wizards, if you do this, we'll take you to court. Also the fact that now, because Wizards, or Pathfinder, uh, it, because Paizo doesn't trust Wizards of the Coast anymore and Hasbro, they're going, we're gonna now make our own OGL that will be held by a third party that cannot be changed, period, point blank, and that... Anyone can use. So they're now changing. They're not making a new OGL. They're not the only ones either. Um, this is episode 15? 14. 14. 14. Also, none of you commented on the dice I posted in the dice chat. I uh, saw I it. I, 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 did bit, I did bite my lip. Do you know what they are? Yes. <laughs> Yeah. I'm assuming this is a Jacob. Please look at this now thing. You can. No, you it's want. a it's a dice that is connected to. Uh, Tells by a or roll twenty or whatnot. So you put a d6 in it, and you close the shell around it, and you roll the physical dice, and it pulls it up on the computer. Interesting. You know, for people who have bad luck with RNG. Dustin. <laughs> I wasn't going to name any names. I, I was. Nicole. You were thinking it. <laughs> of course I was thinking it. He's the only one who rolls bad.
That's right, because my rolls are notoriously shit, I just have to make things that much more difficult. This thing has a plus 30 to hit, and I can't roll above a 1. <laughs> I mean, I don't know about a plus 30, but it does have a plus 7. Oh, I'll be fine. And it may or may not do 4d12 damage. Ooh! <laughs> ooh, ooh! Give us some big numbers, Paladin of Redemption! I bet you it's got the wisdom of a tree. You can smash that fucker with your bounce back. Uh, I love the reactions when so bad. But it does have fucking 4d12 there. So if you roll um, max on one of our party members... You're uh, dead. I'm, I'm dead. He's gonna take it. Yeah, you're dead. I have a spell <laughs> that'll be... help you out, Jacob. I'll do it. I won't be dead dead, but I'll certainly be hurt. Uh, I'm, I'm leaving all you fuckers for dead. I'm sorry. All right. we we go go so I have 57 yeah. HP. So if he rolls max, <laughs> I'll be unconscious, but I'm certainly not dead. Are we, uh, we ready if to you're go? unconscious, you'll be dead. I'm ready, though. I, I'll be right. one point under dead if he rolls max. Because I, I, he would hit me for 58. I would be at I have 57. Literally one hit point. I'd go under with max. God, how much HP do I have? I only have 46 so, HP. Or you only have 46? You forget I'm a fighter. But you know, 4, uh, 40, 12 is 48. I have a D10 as well, bro. It's fine. Um, but yeah, so. <laughs> plus 2 con. Same I'm told. Con. Episode 14. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So. Last time on Destroyer Men, you, uh, Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> um, Adam and Wolfheart were ambushed by a sentient plant monster that uh, failed to do any sort of physical harm uh, whatsoever. You're welcome. <laughs> um, before they broke loose of its grasp and hightailed it the fuck out of there. Um, at which case they returned to the ship and then we finally have a, uh, a drill bit for the oil well. We oil have rig. The drill bit. Thanks to yeah. Me. And everyone and else who did the bellows. Then Except after, the uh, after that, we, uh, we called it a day because I was fucking dying. <laughs> yep. Put on your own time. I know, Jacob, right? What? I know this is this is a bad time, but roll twenty now has doors. I'm confused. What? Roll twenty now has doors. Like you can actually put locked doors in front of your players. And I've done that before. No, it it just had regular doors before. Oh. <clears throat> But, but all right okay. yeah that so may, are you saying we should use that instead of uh tail spire no no <laughs> but no, i can stop okay. what i'm doing good. right now tail spire is good it's just bad for my game i'm just not gonna force people to have to pay for something before they're because i have a couple of new people joining oh so yeah, yeah fair enough which, before. which is fine <laughs> oh god i forgot i still have the fucking pig out there <laughs> the what oh the pig. Oh, the pig's still here? <laughs> the, the pig was still on the map. Oh. Um. But yeah. So, uh. I just put doors. Yeah, pretty much. It, it, did, that, did that work? Did that summon everybody? I don't think it did. Uh, I, I didn't change because I didn't. I was told I might not be needed yet, so I'm making maps. Do you need me on there? No. No, I don't. Okay. I just wanted to make sure everyone's not on the other map. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> you never like it. Like, you guys are offended and think that I have uh, bad stuff going on. Are you a DM? Uh, yeah, you know, it's fine. But, uh, yeah, so I think where we left off, you just had created the bit and you 
drug it back to the ship after Silva broke his face twice trying to lift it. We mended um, his teeth back then. You put his teeth back into his mouth. And, uh... Yeah, there are people talking. Can you not hear the people talking? Son nope. of a bitch. That's annoying. Wait, I don't know which one? Apparently the stream can't hear you guys. Do you have an audio splitter? No. Huh? Apparently I need one. No, an audio splitter is just like what would separate between like your computer sounds and like other things. So that way if you're like listening to music in the background, your stream doesn't hear it, but you can still hear it. I mean, I have an audio, there's the audio mixer that's a part of it, but uh, let me just... Then you need to change whatever your settings are inside, whatever, the like the desktop audio, changing that from that to your mixer. The, the mixer's part of Streamlabs, it's not an actual mixer. Oh, then I have no fucking clue. I'm going to add an audio source of Discord. That and... should at least really... temporarily fix it. Okay, they say it here, the... I am told that they can hear you. All right. Yay. Yay. Ooh. Why would you want to hear us? <laughs> uh, now you didn't hear my shit ass opinions. Yeah. Josh, turn on your fucking camera. I'm eating. Fuck you. But, oh, yeah, so that is, uh, there's said. no, there's no camera this week because I, I haven't figured out this fucking streaming software, but I'll have it hopefully next week. But yeah, so we, we got the, you guys got the drill back to the ship. Yeah, um, broke his face. And then I think we called it there. So with it being about midday, um, you guys have all made it back to the ship, and Kiji comes marching to down the dock towards the boat to come onto the ship. Yeah. So when he when he pulls up on this ship, he climbs up the up the ladder, uh, he takes the deck, and then uh, heads towards the bridge. You can assume to find Captain Ready. Does he seem to the man on a mission today? A little bit. I don't know. Uh, we should probably go uh, deal with the uh, bricks that we found. Remember, guys. Yeah. We did we just get back on the boat when he's getting on, or are we, have we kind of resumed some of our duties? Uh, you guys pretty much had gotten onto the deck and left the uh, the drill in a the drill bit in a place that was unobstructive, and, and then you saw him come marching down the the gang the gangway. I'll, I'll just kind of. Um type out a message and say like um we should probably be on standby till we until we're we know if we're needed <laughs> good plan good plan and at that you as well as Bradford are Paged to the ward room. I thought they want Bradford. <laughs> oh god. No oh, god, not the translator. To be fair, he's the translator. Don't want this bad blade. <laughs> right. To, to the wall room. Yeah, he can translate. The he wall can room. He can translate if the priest is here. This is just Nakamura. No, this is this is Kiji. Oh, Kiji, which is still yeah. the guy with the armor, right? Not the not the older guy, not the sky yeah, priest. Th this is not the sky priest. No, that's what I thought. He's, so he's Justin the, the still couldn't. The high chief of Salisa home. Yeah, he, he's the captain, basically. Yeah, in essence. Poco, Poco. a little bit. <laughs> Um, so you guys all go to the boardroom, I'm assuming? Yeah. Alright, you get really... there. Um, Juan kind of comes by and places 
a sandwich with mayonnaise in front of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> My man! Uh, Is this about the he, mayonnaise? Does, does he place one in front of me? Because he probably would know about me not eating. Uh, yeah, probably not. He's, he's okay. been around you long enough to know that you don't eat. <laughs> Just double check. <laughs> Because that'll be a little, it'll be a little weird if not if uh, not Jamur or fuck, who'd you say it was? I'm not terrible. Because she uh, sees that and sees the fact that I don't heat, eat even here. <laughs> um. Yeah. So you uh you, you show up, he sets the sandwich and and down in front of everybody, retreats outside the room, comes back with a. A small carafe of water and fills a cup for everybody and sets it next to your sandwich and then leaves and then captain ready shows up and uh he just says well boys a g here told me we have some news figured i'd share it with y'all seeing as it means he had another mission for you Oh, boy. Our advance group to the uh, site of the future oil well has finished constructing the wall. And they're pretty much just waiting for that bit that you guys brought. How many life jackets do I have to strap to this thing so it floats, Justin? I think they had made a path through the woods. Otherwise, I don't think we would have made that many men over there. No, no, because we took the boats from Taji. Oh, it uh, would take. Not more. It would take a lot not... of life jackets. Oh, Josh. that's right. It, yes, it would take more life jackets than you have aboard USS Walker. That thing would be one dense motherfucker. It yeah, is cool. steel. Kind of like. Yeah. So. <laughs> so is the boat that we're on. <laughs> The, the whole point the of a boat is that they're not dense. That's why uh -huh. they float. Yep. <laughs> Trying to spin, spin your tails. <laughs> I I did just see it. The boat's gonna flip. We're gonna lose the drill bit, and Isaac is going to strangle whatever creature does so. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah. Captain Reddy continues on with a uh, long story short. I uh, I think we best send you guys on up river tomorrow morning. Bright and early, as soon as the sun shines over the horizon. Because uh, we, uh, well, we need that oil. Faster we get that drill up bit up there and get refinery established, we can uh, faster fill up our bunkers and be, uh, well, a little bit more proactive in this war versus the Grick we have joined. All right. <laughs> I'm just going to slowly raise my hand. Yes, Wolfhark. Uh, not to be the um, bearer of bad news, but um, this is this is still during the day that this is is this the day after we had the Grick encounter, or is this the day of? The day after the Grick encounter. After, and no one has been back to the boat yet to relay the information we found. I'm correct, if I'm not. No, we had not. The, That's what I thought. The, the, the uh, possible gripping uh, Grick encampment on the island i thought you guys talked to captain ready about oh. that the night you came back oh we might have told ready the night of but we haven't yeah told... I, I thought you told ready the night you guys came back which means ready we... would have told not to and we all safe from the consequences of our absence i was i was fairly certain you had told okay. captain ready when you returned maybe we did i don't remember so we're gonna assume that we did and this is a tactical choice he is making to not send us to deal with that problem. Mm -hmm. 
you uh you could assume correctly. The, just, just wanted to just wanted to make sure. The benefits of having an oil supply far outweighs the potential detriment of what you've already been told is a Grick related but non Grick aggressive native species. At this least in something the. Something uh... really, really bad there. <laughs> just <laughs> crossed my head. That is not safe for streaming. So I'll bring it up later when the streams are off. All right. We'll hold okay. you to it. Okay. That was All horrible. Right. I can't believe that crossed my mind. I'm glad it did. Shall we continue? <laughs> there are there any other questions? And well, I assume you guys have been able to figure this out, but yes, I am sending Mr. Bradford with you. Oh, God. Don't let him die. I'll do my best. Does we have Silva to hold on to the drill bit like his life depends on it? Because it oh. might. Well, uh, from what I hear, you guys getting that aboard, uh, Silva may not like that thing that much. It's his fault he slipped on the sand. <laughs> but can you think of someone better to hold it? No, no, I can't. He may not like it, Which... but he's the only one who could. Which pisses me off because he's supposed to be quarantined to the boat for his actions with uh, <laughs> Riza. I'm going to tick, 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 and I'll hand him a message. And it'll say it keeps him away from her by being at the camp. Also, if he drops it, we won't put his teeth back in this time. Did I miss that last time? Yes. No, you were that. Yo, Apparently. you might have paid attention to it, but yeah, Silva knocked his teeth out, and I'm mending them back in. Because you allowed it in your game. When we did it I upside did? down, yes. yeah. Yes, did. Oh, <laughs> shit. And Dustin's like, well, if Austin allowed it in his, uh... <laughs> yeah, as well, right? If you allowed it in yours, fuck it, right? Jerome, the greatest of spellcasters. <laughs> <laughs> you have been granted teeth be gone. <laughs> yeah, so any other questions? Otherwise, I'm going to dismiss you to make any preparations in, prep in preparation for the uh, excursion tomorrow. I will go inform Silva of his current promotion. Yeah, so I am sure he'll be <laughs> Quite thrilled. Think of it this way, it's its own punishment. <laughs> uh, thank you, Captain Ratty. Thank you. <laughs> what? And he turns around and heads out the wardroom back towards the, uh, towards the bridge. What time? I'm gonna find Silva. <laughs> you gonna find Silva? That is the plan. I have to talk to him. You would, uh, you would find him at his normal station on one of the gun crews. Hey, Silva. Uh, what do you want now? Well, seeing how you are the strongest man on the ship, you get to hold the drill bit when we go to the oil rig. He just kind of stands there for a second. He's like, well, God damn it. There, Lieutenant. You just complimented me. In the same sentence, you told me I gotta deal with this shit. I don't know whether to be mad at you or... Thank you. I will leave you to sort that out yourself. When are we leaving? In the morning. Bright and early. Mm. First light, I believe he said. Right. 
And, uh, please don't drop this. It took a lot of time to make. I was there. I know. <laughs> but you weren't there when I set the forge up to actually do something it wasn't meant to do right away. Thought he was, but okay. No. I thought you brought him with. About Maybe that was after you bellows. got all the bellows, but mm -hmm. okay. You brought there the bellows, but. Thank you, Silver. Have a good day. Yeah, yeah. Little compliment in what strategy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so great. Do this thing for me. Thanks. You're so good at it. <laughs> <laughs> no one else can do it but you. You're the only one. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Oof. I'm not going to say it. But I'm yeah, so with you, that, the, the rest of the afternoon and the evening is kind of your guys's. Cool. Uh, I'd like to go to the medical tent again. Okay. For day two of training. All right, day two of training. to translate That would that would probably help if if you would. Hey, Wolf. Hey, Wolf Hard. Uh, I had Wolf Hard. Wolf Hard. Wolf. Wolf. He doesn't have a boner. I hope. I was gonna ask, I was Wolf Heart mentally preparing to go into Super Lizard territory again? So, <laughs> <laughs> like, Jacob's son, it just looks as he's holding the toffee cup, like. Okay. Oh, yeah, those fucking things exist over here. <sighs> oh. Remember when I said you guys might not be totally fucked? No! 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 <laughs> but at least, at least, uh, we leveled up. At least Silver knows what will happen to him if he drops my drill bit. <laughs> um. Hey, uh, uh Wolfheart. Uh. W would you mind, uh, helping me, uh, translate with the, uh, with your local healers? I've been trying to train them how to do my healing magic. Well, I might as well. I have nothing better to do at the moment. Alright. Thank you. Because you asked so nicely and because I have nothing better to Get your mind off of the incoming super lizard territory. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I was trying to not think about it, but now here we are. Yes, here we are indeed. Facing your fate, wandering back into the jungle on the exact same path where you nearly died like a week ago. In the sense, Silver will be in the president location, in the middle, with Bradford. Silver's gonna drop the drill bit on Bradford's head and kill him, isn't he? Oh no! <laughs> Don't you dare. Oh god. Oh, uh, now I have to roll for that. No! <laughs> Josh! <laughs> uh? <laughs> Bradford is my child. Bradford is older than you. Bradford is, is like... he? How old is Bradford? Uh, Bradford's in like his early fifties. I am a half elf, sir. You forgot that he's like two hundred. I did forget that Kubo's <laughs> like two hundred. If anything, Kubo is my child, and Bradford is my great grandchild. And Hound is like my brother. Which is and, funny, because I'm the youngest out of every one of these fuckers here. And Wolfheart is yeah. like my great-great 
Dragon Child. Because you don't age when you're undead. At least you didn't say, and Wolfheart is my cat. <laughs> <laughs> that would have gotten you shot. <laughs> hey, Wolfheart, we got this shit. Got catnip. <laughs> you roll it like this. That is how they started the great drug war of the 14th cycle of the third moon. Wow. Dragon. So, Abby, do you have to roll something to train people? Uh, I think I did. I don't remember. Yes. Okay. I think I made you roll performance. Thank God. To get your... Or no, no, I made you rule religion. Fuck. Or arcana. Fuck. Uh. To get your point across with the, the magic and the faith. Okay, let's do a religion roll then. Plus one, baby. <laughs> Ooh, dirty 20. 20! Yes! Look at that! Oh! Good shit. Uh... Alright, so this is for the one that was kind of understanding it already. I'm gonna give it to her an advantage. What exactly are you trying to teach them today? Just more of the same, or...? Yeah, more of the same, because she was the only one who got it. I was trying to get it the okay. basics through to the other ones as well. Alright, so yeah. Yeah, she's she's doing great still, and then each one of these represents just one of the other two. They're they're just gonna be at regular straight rolls. Uh, one of them's really struggling, and the other one is kind of like sort of gets it, but not not quite there. And I was specifically doing lay on hands. Let's try to teach them just just to cure wounds. Um, that's a first level spell. A lot of classes get it. Shouldn't be too shouldn't be too difficult. That's an eleven. All right, so. The one that kind of gets it is going to get its straight roll with that. She gets it She's immediately. She's a prodigy. A yeah, absolutely. Ooh. Gets it absolutely immediately first try. Just just like that. Like, perfect. 100% comprehension. And then... Yes. That guy's kind of getting it. He's, uh... He's doing all right. Like he's he's sort of getting it. They're so they're all doing okay. The the one with her her nat twenty and picking it up right away was able to help the other two kind of get to the point where they could comprehend this as well. So they have all successfully learned cure wounds. All right. Well, I think this was a good lesson. Thank you, Wolf Part. Doing God's work. Um. <laughs> All right, I gotta raise it up towards the camera. All right. Well, uh, I don't know how long I'll be gone. Uh, we're going on a mission to the oil rig in the morning. Uh, just keep practicing uh, that cure wounds and. Maybe if you could do your best to teach them to lay on hands, that'd be great. Yeah. We're going to come back, and they're going to be better than you are. <laughs> I want you on the bat. I mean, it's possible. Well, I am level 5, so... <laughs> this level is... On each over in the corner. We are we are we are in a magical world full of magical bullshit. Yeah. That means nothing. Yeah. 
Um, You're going to come back and one of them is going to be a level 20 paladin. If one of them is immune to disease and I get back, I swear to God. Because <laughs> that's a level 3 thing. All right, and then I'll just uh, head back to the ship. Anybody else doing anything the late afternoon, evening portions of the day? Was there anybody who wanted me to make anything? Or Mr. Isaac, were you wanting to make something with me? I have to talk to Juan about how the mana cells are going. Fair enough. <laughs> You're doing that purely because I brought up the mayonnaise in the meeting, aren't you? I was going to anyways, but the fact oh. you brought up mayonnaise in the meeting bodes well for me. <laughs> or does it not bode well that he's not that he, there's a surplus and he's able to make sandwiches out of it? We are giving the man four gallons of mayonnaise a day. If this man is selling four gallons of mayonnaise a day, I am concerned <laughs> about the well-being of these people. Two. You're gonna be Two the gallons. source of obesity. Yeah, you're 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 the start of the uh, the great Lemurian diabetes pandemic of the thirteenth uh, cycle of the fourth moon. In a couple of years, they're gonna start a fat camp. Ugh. <laughs> and with obesity comes reality TV. <laughs> <laughs> Except they don't have television, so they're just all going to gather in, like, some amphitheater and watch each other. <laughs> oh, it's still dying. And then it can become a spectator sport. What, what's on the, uh, what's on the strine orb? My 600-pound cat. Speaking no. of 600-pound cats... Uh, I, I would like to find one. Alright. You'd find him in the galley. Hey, Juan. Uh, yes, he hello, Mr. Isaac. How's the mayonnaise going? Uh, the mayonnaise sells very well. Very well, indeed. So, so the bonnet, the man is happy? He's very happy. Do you know that, or are you just assuming? Do, uh, uh, do you know the language? Have you picked up on it, is what I'm trying to ask Juan. No. No, I do not speak the language. Okay. I'm gonna take your word for it. Thank you, Juan. Doing good work. And thank you, Mr. Isaac. <laughs> do we still have that Marine with the busted leg and his brother? In the letters to his brother that he's been writing? Yes, Sergeant Alden is still aboard the ship. Is he doing alright? Has anyone talked to him recently about the happenings? I don't know, have you guys talked to him recently? I don't think you have. I didn't even know he existed until right now. Hey, Alden? I'll be back. We've involved ourselves in a war with lizard people. I've had a busy week. So, <laughs> you, you are you just like straight up went to go find this guy? Yeah, I figured he's still down there with his bum leg. Eventually, you would find him. Um, talking to Shinya. Shinya, Shinya, Shinya! Japanese. Yes, I remember Shinya. Hey, Alden! Uh, hey, Shinya! Uh, hey! Uh, long time no, uh, long time no talk, uh, Mr. Engineer. I said, yes, 
I'm sorry, it's been busy. I may I taught them how to make oh, steel. Oh, I've heard. Yeah, I taught them how to make steel. We made a drill bit for the oil rig. That uh, that's an impressive feat. I'm also selling the mayonnaise. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, I, I don't think I heard you. You're selling them mayonnaise. Yes, we have an infinite supply of it. Well, alrighty then. Yeah, I'm assuming Shinya uh, told you about the war with the lizard people? The Brit, uh, as they are told? Well, yes, that's... <laughs> That's pretty common knowledge for, uh, well, everybody. Yeah. But the oil rig should be up and running tomorrow, hopefully. I mean, Silva doesn't drop the drill bit. Well, for the sake of us all, let's hope he does not. If he does, we'll find new veins I didn't know existed in my forehead. Understandable. But... I figured I'd talk to you because we hadn't been down here in a while. We also found a plane. Well, yeah, I, I think everyone knew about the plane as well. Yeah, but it was already here. Which means someone came through before us. Now I have a working theory it's Amelia Earhart. It wasn't her plane, Josh. It's not. It's not her plane. But I have a working theory that she also went through here. I know that's That's a you should have phrased that differently then. You made it sound know. like that's her plane. No, I don't think it's her plane. But I think that might be where she disappeared to. <laughs> oh, this might be where she disappeared to. Well, I suppose we never know. It's possible. What? Well, see, you didn't up and moving again. How long was it going to be till it was held? Two months? A month? Uh, roughly like four to six weeks. Ah. Of really which it's been, you know, close to two. Ah. So. That's all I have. Oh fuck, do I have to... We have to talk to the farm people about the Brontoside. They did them over to us now that we're setting up the... Can we bring them through the woods? Do they make... Son of a... I should have got the ready now. Shinya, did we have boats big enough for the dinosaurs? We do not have boats big enough. Uh, not with our ships at least. However, the ships that the advanced teams have been taking with all the lumber and Woodworkers to the site might be able to accommodate one of the beasts. So we'll just take them one at a time. Okay. Thank you, Shinya. I'll have to go talk to Reddy now. And then talk to Nachimur. And then run three miles to a farm. I do not envy you. And then maybe take a nap. Understandable. Thank you for reminding me, Shinya. Goodbye. <laughs> but that means I need Wolfheart, too. He's at the medical tent. Good times. Captain Ready. Oh, uh, yes, Mr. Isaac. What can I do you for? 
So you know how we're setting up the drill and everything tomorrow? And we need to beat the burden, the drill? Yes. We have to go get one of them on one of the worker boats. So I have to go talk to Najamur now about doing that. And then I have to go run to the farm and get the beast of burden. Well, uh, you might want to hurry. The sun's not going to stay up forever. I realize. I'm going to go grab Kubo and Wolfheart since I know they're together. And Hound. Hound is helpful. I might not like him, but Hound is helpful. Adam, too. I might just take the whole team. We might be jumped on the way back. Kubo got jumped last time he left. I was just about to bring that up. You want to call them? Like, does you have the intercom system? I know I've access to. Please and thank you, Captain. <laughs> he just kind of shakes his head and he walks over to the the little intercom system and presses the button down and says, Ten and Hound, get him. Lieutenant Isaac needs to see you on the deck immediately. Well, pardon. Kubo back on the boat at this point or now? Probably not. All right, the puppy. The medical thing. All right, we can do this. God, finding out about problems at the last goddamn minute. <laughs> Welcome to the world of. You're stranded in a alternate dimension where society doesn't exist. Oh, Adam! Don't you no, see society you? exists. It's just not your society. We're going on a mission. Right now. Uh, how kind of like. <laughs> we have to get the beast of burden across the uh, city. Also. Just remembered something. Without Wolfheart, we can't translate, and they may have a hand on English, but I'm gonna go grab Bradford real quick from his bedroom. I wonder what kind of... The Bradford room! <laughs> I love how you're fucking everywhere tonight, Josh. It's hilarious. That's just Josh. What do you mean? What's I know, but what it's is funny. What's the mind of an engineer? We were everywhere. Yes. Are you never the scattered brain? <laughs> Quite the opposite. <laughs> See? <laughs> Bradford? 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 Oh, Bradford. good heavens, boy! <laughs> what do you need? I need your help. We gotta do talk to Najima, and I don't know how much of a firm grasp on English he has, but we have to make enough room on the boat for the Bronco's eye. Then I have to go to the farm and uh, go bring it across town. Well, I, I have picked up some of the language, of course, but not not all of it. I'm not better off picking up Wolfheart. Well, I, yes, I, I speak Latin, but that's only spoken by the Sky Priests. Wolfheart's not on the boat, and you've been teaching them English, so I figured you have at least some hold on the language better than the rest of us. Well, you're probably not wrong about that. I suppose I can. If you and you look around, and there's just papers and drawings and notes scattered everywhere on the bed, the chair, the desk, the small table, the dresser, just everything has papers everywhere. It's like, I suppose I can continue my work. Later this evening. Thank you, Bradford. Your help is appreciated. I'm a little bit everywhere at the moment because I realize I have 17 things to get done before I go to bed tonight. You, yes, you, you and me both, as you can probably tell. But without the dinosaur, we can't move the drill, so we can't get oil, and then all this work is for naught. Yes. Yes, of course. Let's be on, then. Hey, Dustin. 
question. Yeah. Did Brontiosaur tall enough to stand in the river and have its head sit out above the water? Uh, in certain parts of it, probably. So most of the river, then? Yeah? Potentially. I mean, you, you know the rough size of the beast, but you are not overly familiar with the depth of the river. I'm just wondering if it's strapped the drill bit to its net so that if it goes under, it's still going to exist above the water. You can try. We could just have silver hold. That's you a can try. Do not jammer. Hello. Oh, yes. Hello, American friend. Uh, what hey, um, oh. To understand, you head out to drill for the Gish tomorrow. Yes, that's actually why we're here. Uh, we need enough room on the boat that you bring to bring at least one to two brontiosaurs. Brontiosai. I see. We the... may need additional boats. You will not fit many people on a boat that carries Brontosari. Brontosari. All right. Can you do it for us, Nutrimer? I will try. I can give you no promises. I cannot commandeer the ships of my people, but I can ask for them to help in the betterment of Bulkban. Thank you, Nutrimer. You're always helpful. Thank you, Bradford, for translating. Now, my math is right. We did it to the farm, and most of us can still sleep eight hours. <laughs> most. Looking at... <laughs> Wait, none of us are elves here. Well, I'm an elf, but... Alright, okay, let's you, go. Are you about to, are you about to <laughs> fucking kill me here? No. Oh, elves don't sleep eight hours. Yeah, however, oh, you know that I don't sleep. I know. Shall we go now to do the uh, road to the medical tent to find the other two in case we get jumped by anything spooky? Thank you, Dr. Mer. I have 17 other things to do today. I'm sorry. Set you down to 15 now because of you. He, t he just slightly bows back towards you and Bradford. I will return the bow politely. <laughs> Which is quite comical because he's a rather rotund man. Ah, uh, I see you laying on the manning. <laughs> that was a joke. I did not say that in character. <laughs> oh, if you did. Oh, that would have been fun. <laughs> he was big before the mayonnaise came into the picture. God, soon he'll be calling stairs ramps. <laughs> uh, Alright. Rafa, you did no bad to your work now. Do try to sleep at least eight hours, my good sir. Yes, it's very important. It is. If you don't, you might mess up things. Now I have to go find the other two. Best of luck. Thank you. We're good. Life is good. Life is good. <laughs> Towards the metador tent. Gee, hey bud. <laughs> You've arrived at the medical tent. Do I run into them on the on the way back? Or would they have I don't know. Even or odd. Even. 
you do run into them. I'm going to put an arm over both their shoulders and turn them around and pull them with us. Ah, uh, oh. Uh, what to do? What to do? Oh, uh, well then. All right. <laughs> Have to go to dinosaurs from the farm, but not to do it. Not to do it now. Ah, uh, yes. Thank you for not resisting. And that was, <laughs> that was my impression of the dinosaur. Dubo, you must not have been a theater major. Uh, <laughs> you'd be surprised. Oh, I could put on a show. <laughs> Back in my you can day. Dance if you want to, you can leave your friends behind. Your friends don't dance, and if they don't Never dance, gonna give you mine. <laughs> that is the worst. Super. No. No, you can't. We must go now! To the farm. To the farm. The farm. And to help the dog before they jumped on the way there. So you leave the city. And you head towards the farm. Oh, 54. And you arrive without incident. Yay. 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 Hello there. Well, Hart, you don't need to do the carting. Let them know we're here for the beast they promise. Apparently, you were, you were giving these morons some beasts they forgot about. I didn't forget about them. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I don't know your damn You didn't language. understand that. Did I get yes. that? <laughs> um. Is this a roll? Exact you, words were. Yes. That you that's, forgot that's about. That's a roll. That I forgot we needed today. <laughs> yes, you did pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, and she would uh she would respond back ah yes right this way okay. uh as we walk there i'll say i'll attempt to say well we didn't forget it's just the time is now you you saying that in Common in, or Lemurian? Lemurian. Okay. She, uh, has anyone ever heard you speak Lemurian before? Um. At least from the party? No. We look in shock and awe. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh boy, I might yes. Not need to... When we were looking for Silva, I was talking to the barkeeps. And the uh, merchant stands. Ah, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. I guess you you, you did have some minor conversations yes. there. I guess so. Yeah. Okay. Good job, Tubo. Proud of you. Woo! Oh my God! I don't have to follow you around all the time to translate things now. Well, that makes you my translator. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm still not the best at it. So, they lead you to the pasture where the three Bronxasari they had set aside for you are. And, uh, they basically just hand you the leads and say, here you go. <laughs> so, uh, do you have a plan of what we're doing with these? <clears throat> no, we're just gonna get them down by the boat for now. That's step it's one, alright. Not, <laughs> not the bear is gonna try to get us both to take them. Um, who here, by show of hands, is good with that? A 
last one. Hold on, what are we doing? Who the animal handling? I believe uh, who me and I, be, I believe me and uh, Mr. Adam had the best. So what part are you good with animals? That's good. I'll just kind of raise my hand. Well, Adam, Wolfa, uh, Adam. I'll Adam. raise my weapon. What? <laughs> uh, no, put that down. You're watching them. You need to walk the broccoli side. No, I was raising it up. <laughs> yeah, I realized that was a joke. You need to watch them. Because you're better with animals than I am. I'm gonna... Uh, we have two of them, right? Three, apparently. Three. I thought it was just two, but we have three. Okay. That the manic cells are going so great, I added right. extra dinosaurs without noticing. <laughs> Alright, so what I'm going to do... Is how long are the leads on these guys? Uh, long enough to go from like their head to you standing right below them with not much extra room. So six, okay. seven feet. My my idea was potentially tying two of them together on the third one. And then uh, steering one with the with, with the other, steering one, steering two with the other one. We have Captain Dino Whisperer over here. Uh, twenty-one. Who the fuck is Captain Dino Whisperer? I'll be honest, not probably not him. I think Josh is forgetting something. I'm not, but he rolled an eighteen. You're going to roll enough. a seven. A 19! Yes! We have two Dino Whisperers! By the way, that's a plus 8. Yes! yes. So, 19 plus 8. I love both of you so much. Uh, so, like I was saying, I'm going to describe my idea. I was going to tie two of the reins together under the third one and kind of jump on one and just ride its back while it while it kind of leads the other two. While I lead the one. Okay. You're, uh... With a fucking 27, you're pretty successful. Oh, yes, you and Adam. So they just, they just see me tie, tie, and <laughs> jump on top of the other one of the broad sides, start just riding it like a fucking horse. <laughs> I think you might have done that before. I kind of just looked down and go. <laughs> just like something back in the war. <laughs> I'm kidding. Back in Nam. Back in Nam. <laughs> Nam was after. I yeah, know. I was going to say, even though this is World I War II. <laughs> All right, uh, to ta to the to the boat. Uh, to the boat. Da -na 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 -na. We don't get jumped. Are you jumped on the way back? Are we? Now that we have some very tasty, tasty looking dinosaurs. <laughs> no, no, you're not. <laughs> oh, don't even that. stub our toe. All right. I don't have to commit war crimes today. <laughs> Okay. I'll do right. it. Didn't, didn't know that was on the table. Oh, yes. With all the effort I've put into this plan, if something goes astray, I was not kidding when I said I will not put Silver's teeth back in. War crimes are always on the table in this party. In peacetime. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, does it really matter? <laughs> so... Do we, do we have an area of dock where our well boat usually sits? Yes. Is that, like, designated for us? Mm, largely. Largely? So I did, like, put the Bronte aside there for now. But does not Trimmer have boats out already for them? There are not boats out for them. Alright. We did say we weren't leaving till the morning. I did say we were ditting them tonight, though. 
Why would he want them to sit on a boat overnight? Yeah, that's what I... I'm sure it'll be fine. Can we walk them to the sandbank where the hut is? Yes, you can. Where we know Grick are able to attack pretty easily. I know Grick didn't attack, but we can keep them there. And you know who can sleep there? Fuck you. All of us! Who's down for a camping trip? It's on the sleepover! Oh my god. Who will be to say outrank you? This one's in order. <laughs> <laughs> I don't flex right too often, but this time I'm going to. Welcome what? to the sleepover, Chubo. I mean, you technically outrank everybody in the hound, so. I know. I mean. But. Adam is part of Hound's department, and I'm not going to cross that line. And Wolfhart can do what he wants. So Wolfhart, you're welcome to sleep outside with us, but you don't have to. <laughs> that technically, Wolfhart has been inducted into the United States Navy with the rank of Ensign. Or Ensign, however the fuck you pronounce that. Congratulations, you're American. Has... As kind of like a transfer student that did a feel for how we act, you know? Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to force him to do anything that he won't do. Okay. He's gonna leave that to us. Nubo, on the other hand, 100%. <laughs> so, so Wolfhart? Are you gonna sleep out by the hut next to the jungle? With the Grick and the plant monsters and the <laughs> super lizards and, <laughs> and do I need to keep going? No. No, yeah, no. That's acceptable, Wolf Hot. But if Reddy <laughs> you gave me a you... choice and the answer is hell no. Nah. <laughs> but if Reddy tells you to come back, you'll have to. Is, is the plane still here? Yes. The plane has a radio in it, right? Yes. When Wolfhart leaves, I've got a radio ready to tell him the situation. <sighs> and where we're staying, and that Wolfhart died back to sleep. Uh, okay. I'm not gonna... I just want the situation to be known. I don't know what Reddy will say in response. He would say, sounds like not my fucking problem. <laughs> it's not, you're right. But there you go. <laughs> Hound, would you like to stay out here with us? I don't outrank you. Kind of look to Adam. And I'll look back. <laughs> kind of go... Type out. I'm like, and toss it over to you. It just says, we're the only ones who can control your beast of burden. Awesome! We need to tell each other dark secrets over the campfire. Are you starting a campfire? No, that was a joke. Most of us don't need heat. <laughs> Literally half of us don't need heat. Okay. <laughs> We'll have a watch. And I volunteer Hound for first watch as I do my four hour meditation. <laughs> well, I need to start GM rolling this shit. We'll need to get the uh well, we beast some food have a as watch well. anyways. We know the grit to get out here, Dustin. I'll do it, but like, alright everyone, let's go to bed and pray the Brontius side don't get eaten while we sleep. <laughs> Are you really gonna defend him from a super lizard? Yes. yes. Okay. Good to know. Listen, push come to solve, I will shove myself down the lizard's throat and out its stomach if I have to to keep these things safe. I will baby xenomorph a super lizard if it pisses me off enough. Okay, so there's four of you, I'm assuming two hour watches each. Who's on each watch? Well, 
We should keep the perception boys separate. Yeah, and I didn't be on every that watch was, after four gonna, hours. That was gonna be my, uh, my suggestion. Yeah. So if Hound takes the first one, and the first watch is two hours, and Adam takes the second one, Tubo and I then take the third one together. But I'm still perceptive meditating, but I'm not. But I'm not awake. I just you're not like... actively perceptive, so you can't actively rule, but you're, you're passively, yeah. Yeah. passively aware of your surroundings. Yep. Okay, so what I'm hearing is Kubo is on third Yes, with me. Watch. Are you awake I'm... during third? I will be, yes, because it's two hour watch, okay. right? I would assume so. If there's four of you and you split it evenly, you each have to be on watch two hours for an eight-hour rest. So I did to do third and fourth watch. Okay. Then to your prerogative, I guess. I need you both to roll me perception. Oh, I thought oh, it's, it's only the third watch that matters. Yes. Okay. By the way, the f my, the first two watches that I would have been on, I would have been. I would have been playing on the guitar. That's a 10. No, wait, no, that's a 13. Sorry, oh. I saw Kubo's roll pop up when I threw mine. Okay, wait, hold up. Uh, okay, so I just rolled a 13. We both got You both rolled 13. Yes. Rip. However, you just said you were playing the guitar? Yeah, for the first and second watch. So oh this god, do I need to roll for nightmares? That's up, that's up to you, good sir. <laughs> if you were playing the song, yes. Okay. Nightmare, 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 nightmare. nightmare. Alright, see, we... Uh, I don't know what that I means. Mean, um, <laughs> is that we'll, a good we'll thing or a bad thing? It's a con <laughs> save. So no, you do not have nightmares. Okay. Or maybe not a con save. It's like a probably more wisdom. Like a wisdom, yeah. It'd be a wisdom save. So, yeah, you're fine. No nightmares. Cap. This time. No weird dreams. I was even. conked. <laughs> Does that thirteen see anything? Your thirteen. As you notice some small bipedal reptilian creatures emerge from the woods and they head for the bodies of the Grick that nobody moved. Yes, we did. When did you move them? We did that immediately. Because we dumped those in the uh, ocean, the ones that died. I thought you were loading them all on a boat and then never went back to do it after the ones woke up. No, we dumped no. the bodies immediately. That was one. That was the idea that I had because I was like, was we don't want the. Was two streams ago? Yeah, it was two. Yeah, it was ago. two streams ago. That was like the first thing we did. We dumped the okay. dead bodies before they even woke up. I honestly don't remember. I wasn't there. I I, I just know I that is thought... the first thing that I suggested and that we needed to do. I'm not sure you ever did it. Was the thing. Uh -huh. I could very well be wrong though. I swear we th we were gonna do it the uh, the, the the I like I said I said it and then we did it is what I thought happened. Would that stream still be, be wrong, up? But... To be watched. I want to Twitch leave stuff up. It's probably too late. Depends on your I'm level. On YouTube. I didn't put mine on YouTube, but if somebody else did theirs. Although I have no audio for it, apparently. Okay. I, this my, video has no audio. My video is up. I guess I could... Attempt to find it. I don't remember if we threw the body or not. I don't remember for sure, and I also, like, don't have any audio on Justin's YouTube video. I'm gonna aim for hmm. this fucker right 
Well, you broke it. I guess. Maybe his headset exploded too. So, if there's no bodies there, then this is time to go for the Brontia side. If there's no bodies there, they may not be attracted. I'll leave that up to you, Dustin. You can. I'm kind of. Well, I turned on closed caption on his video. Hmm. Oh, that's not always good. They think when you say hot guy, it says hot guy. Hmm. Have you been watching Hermitcraft? <laughs> no. Just remember that from high school when I watched the death battle video. I'm not 100% sure I'm done dicking around with the video, so I'll just say, yeah, they're... You threw them. If you think you threw them, I'll say you threw them, because I don't remember for sure. Okay. Right. And it could, it could have been the fact that I thought we said we did, and that nobody actually felt through with it. Oh, well, if he says we threw them, we threw them. I'm going to live with yeah, it. So right. headset exploded before to worry about the audio issues. <laughs> He's not wrong. <laughs> but all right, so woohoo! Um, still getting jumped? <laughs> uh, no. Oh no, my god! That was gonna rip one of those bricks from like you know the little jaw break thing where you grab both ends and someone. Yeah. If they I never both. said they were brick. He said it was the little tiny. Little I said little. they were small bipedal reptilian creatures. I, got... I just hear bipedal reptilian and go, oh, Grick. Murder. Racist. Racist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a scaly. A lizard's a lizard to me. All right. <sighs> Woohoo! You wake up in the morning and nobody's dead. Good job. Oh, sorry, Justin. Or Dustin. <laughs> well, one you of wake us up is in the morning and nobody's dead. Uh, two, two of us are dead. I'm... It's two of us, actually, Dustin. Two of you are undead. And? And? It means you're not dead. You're undead. So You so were we dead are, and you're... We, we you're... have been dead. <laughs> yeah, you were dead and you are now undead. We're done with this conversation, all right? <laughs> Let's sit these late on the boat. Uh, the Dr. Burr see oh. us sleeping here. Oh, I better make sure I have e spells. Yes, you would wake up to three boats. Four boats. One of them is your little rubber whale boat. Um, coming towards you. The Grit was smart. Okay. He decided not to try um, that Is Has Wolfhart made his way back to camp? I don't know, Wolfhart, did you get up early enough to make one of the boat rides over to the other side of the harbor, or do you have to walk the long way? <laughs> um, I probably, I mean, if we were supposed to be up, you know, first light, I would have been up at, at first light. All right. Wolfhart is on one of the boats. Silva did up on time? Silva is on the boat with Wolfhart, as well as Bradford. Proud of Silva. And I'm probably, I'm probably the reason everyone is he actually here on time. And the uh, the drill bit is with them. So proud of Silva. Okay. He remembered the drill bit. Or Captain Reddy told them 
to use the drill bit, and the entire gun crew hoisted it over the side because there's a shit ton of them, and I didn't need to make moles for that. Good. <laughs> Good. Excuse me. Um, before we head out, I'm going to cast a spell Ooh. on Wolf Heart, uh, Isaac, and and to myself um our hp maximum goes up by five and you heal five cool for how long eight hours eight hours fancy yes that's some fancy, fancy shit right there yeah right up 56 hp He's got more HP than me. Yeah, I'm into frontline tanks this shit. Okay, Josh, did you call in yet? No, I have another hour. Okay. Where are you calling? Into what? Can I go to your work? No. In your you stead? don't want to. I do. <laughs> no, you don't. Yes, I do. Is there room for my dinosaurs? You are able to load... You are able to attempt to load one of each dinosaur onto the three large wooden barges that have been brought. Here's the first roll for it. Do you have help? Oof. Do I have help? That's a good question. That is a good question. Someone, Does someone else help? should assist them. It, is, it can't is, be anyone, is anybody helping him? Uh, sure, I will yeah. do my best to help I'll him out. I'll help the other one, then. Okay. Oh! Not much better. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Not much better. So, a 12. I'm helping Adam. A 12, huh? 11. And mm. a... 11. Nice. Okay. <laughs> you have a plus. I know. It's 14. So we have a 14 and a 12? Correct. Okay. Uh -huh, so this, is, this, is, this is for the 12. That one loads on just fine. No problems. Whoa! The 14? That'll be a 2, isn't it? This one steps onto the boat and the boat capsizes. Was you couldn't any... have just had it be like it's afraid of the water or something. No. Nope, it no. stepped on the boat and the boat capsized. Did I take the spell? I did what take... <gasps> what spell did you take? It will not help us. Okay. Uh, to, to, to put into perspective, that was a dex save of a 2. Do I need to roll a dex save? I can do that. Wait, you don't have four. No, you don't need to roll a dex save. Oh. Yeah, I know I rolled a four. That was a dex save of a two. You a minus oh, it has five. minus two. Oh, okay. Yes, the creatures have minus two to dexterity. Is the creature still okay? Is the, can we flip the boat? You can try to flip the boat back and yes, you're trying to since you're trying to do this in the shallows. The creature is okay, although you now notice after you get it back out of the water, there are a number of uh, small silver fish swimming around the boats now after the splashing and everything. Oh, that's not good. So, yeah. Nico, do you have speak with animal? Uh, no, but I do have calm emotions. I'm gonna dumb the. Uh, did, did you yeah. ask speak with anim speak with animal out loud? Yes. Uh, let me look, cause low key, um, Bradford might have speak with him. <laughs> if not, we can always know? shoot. I tried to talk to the grid. If not, we can always shoot them like fish in a barrel. No, no, no. We're gonna politely inform these fish what will happen if they decide to fuck with my plan. 
Wait, wait a minute. Speak with animals. So you're going to inform the fish what are going to happen. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, wait. Uh, I need to pull a bard spell list. Spell slots. Petra has multiple spell slots. We can touch the Frontier side, too. I need to pull up bard spell list. I'm pretty sure they get... He's a fucking bard? Yes. That would have been for sure <sighs> natural as the... I, wait, no, room. hold up. He's a... He's a ranger. He's not a bard. He's a ranger. He's a... Okay, that makes at least somewhat more sense. Yeah, never mind. He, he, originally, he was going to be a bard, but yeah, that's right. I changed it. Yeah, he tried to talk with the Greg, remember? When we asked him if speak with animal would work for that? We did this experiment the first time we captured the Greg. Oh my god, that's amazing. Yeah, that's right, you did, didn't you? <laughs> Brad, but how many spells do you have? Um, that, that, that's a good question. Um... I don't know how many. I think he's got two. Two? Alright. He's. Is Speak with Animals a second level or first? I have no idea. I believe it's a first. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, first level ritual. First level. So he's got four. Hey, right, Bradford, first, would you kindly tell the fish to fuck off? And, let's, let's see, there's there's an intelligence, right? Yeah, I think the intelligence requirement is at least eight. Uh, it does not specify. Oh, it, oh. No, no, it does not. Okay. Uh... So, you cast yeah. Speak with... Bradford casts Speak with Animals. Tells the fish to fuck off. And then asks the Brontosaurus to calmly enter the boats. And to try to keep their weight shifting at a minimum. <laughs> Do they listen? Does everyone Do they even know what weight shifting is? Everyone should listen to Bradford. He's a smart man. I respect They him. they do listen to him. Oh my so God. if you would like to roll now again at advantage for animal handling to get them on there. Oh, I love all of you. Hound, you got yours on. Try for the third one. Oh! Hog. Oh, sorry. That means it's him. No, you have one of your own. We have three of them. What? You got eighteen. Uh, so, so that's or... a no, so that's a seventeen. No, yeah, seventeen. So Coz gets on. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you rolled a seventeen. Correct. That one gets on as well. Oh, thank God. Do the fish butt off? Uh... Mm, no, not really, but they don't have an opportunity to attack either, so... That's good. Thank you, Bradford. I'm glad we have you. Um, well, ha happy I was able to be of assistance. Now we don't set up the drill. Yes, indeed. Indeed. Good day to do this. The duration on speak with animals. Ten minutes. Uh. Oh, oh, hell yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. That's why he was able to do both of them and tell the fish to fuck off with just one cast. That's right, Bradford. We're going to need you to do that again when we're unloading them. Um, if, if hopefully, it would be 
moderately easier. Yes, hopefully. The worst part is, we still got a two hour walk through the super lizard territory with these slow ass beasts of burden. Um, <laughs> yup. I have passed without what trace. Level... Brad, Do but they what level are you? The big ass bitches. Wait, no, anything, Rangers, any within more. 30 foot radius plus 10 stealth check. That means have what do you think? The stealth. <laughs> I mean, my stealth Plus is pretty solid. At disadvantage. And it means know. I have a 20 something stealth boat. That's all I care <laughs> about. So you're hoping you won't get nuked by a super lizard this time? Yeah. <laughs> Just as long as it's not you. It can be anybody else, but as long as it's I not you. I should have imagined, like, anyone else a super lizard's looking out for people, and then Wolfhard's knife just appears at its throat, like, shh, not this time. <laughs> I will not, not let you today, take them again. Bitch. Not today. So is this it's on the eventful boat ride? Because of Bradford's speaking with the animals and asking them to remain as motionless as they can, you do not have a capsized boat on your trip up the river. Okay. Did Silva still oh, have you. his grip on the bit? Would you like me to rule? I guess no. I have to now. I will be watching Silva like a hawk this whole fucking <gasps> No! <laughs> Justin, you just had to say something, didn't you? Well, he said he was gonna roll anyway. So... Benji, what was that? Benji's having a grand old time. So anyway, uh, we go safely. You did not just... As you are nearing the area where you last exited, or the on-ground, on-land portion of this journey, you are attacked by one of the birds. Oh, no. And it swoops down. At your boat. Can I get a silent shot off at it before it gets anywhere closer? Uh, let's have you roll perception versus its stealth to see if you even noticed it. That's a dirty twenty. Hey, yeah, you noticed it. So yes, I'll allow you to try to get a shot off. Silent shot so it doesn't attract more attention. Oof. That's only a plus. You got 13 AC. Oh, then I. Then I uh, I, hmm, did I roll 15 to 5? Wait. Exactly 13. I have a plus 8. Okay. Oh, yeah. So that's a hit. Yeah, they don't, they're not like armored or anything, but they are small and fast, so. Mm -hmm. uh, plus 3 to damage. Plus. So you, sh you shoot this, you, this bird swoops down at you from the tree as this one you go underneath one of these trees. And uh, you're able to swing up your gun and put a bullet into it, and it poofs out of existence. Thank you, Helm. Small salute. <laughs> and then reload. 
and the rest of your journey is unopened. Oh, I swear if there's more drill bits in the bottom of this river. You swear. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Now to offload everything. Yep. Silver. You don't have an army of sailors to get the drill bit out of the boat this time. Yes. Okay. Both holding the drill bit, and Bradford, you exist in the middle. With the brontosaurus. So that if anyone hurts you, they have to go through all of us. <laughs> Bradford would uh, cast Speak with Animals again to coach the brontosaurus on getting out of the boat. So you guys can have advantage on your animal handling roles to guide them out. I believe in both of you. My brother and my great 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 grandchild. That team. And then am Adam? I doing the second one as well? It depends if yours sits off first or not. I think mine's yep. off first. It's off. Adam, you want to try yours? Sure, we can I try mine. I believe in you. I don't have the third one. You did the middle one, Adam. I believe in you. Nice. A 17. That one's off as well. And Hound, number three. I think he's off. The 20. Yep. With the the only way it would have failed there is if it would have rolled two net ones. Yeah. So, yeah, you're off. They're all offloaded. Congratulations. Now, you must uh, get the steel drill bit off of the black rubber boat. And we don't have a horde of sailors to do this, do we? No. How many? No, Lemarians? you get. You have. You have you. How many Lemarians? Are, how many Lemarians are on the boats that move the? Bronze? There would be the singular captain from the three boats that carry the bronc. Sorry. Well, Hart, would you gladly tell those captains to thank you for me? As I think. Uh, I will thank them. Kubo, Hound, Adam. We're gonna do this as a team. So Hound and Adam, I highly suggest you uh support Kubo and I in this effort to remove this drill bit. <laughs> I will support you. I'm but... asking for the help action. I'm going to use the help action. I will kindly give him the help action. Okay. Is anyone helping Silva and Wolfheart or no? Uh, no, he doesn't help, get help. You're welcome friends. to help Silva if you want. Silva doesn't have friends. Uh, I got a 21. I yeah, so you I got, got a 21. I got 21 as well. You got a 21, so that's 42. And Silva got a 14. Yeah, was this straight... Strength or was this athletics? Athletics. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. That's a 24. Okay, athletics. so 24 and 21 is 45, and then 14 is 59. Yeah, you get it off the boat. Congratulations. Yes. They are once again asking for your hell back. <laughs> Damn. All right, so the three of you are now carrying it down the trail. Uh, and... can we tie this to like our beasts of burden? How are the leads set up, Dustin? Make a. Their leads? Like, is it... I'm, yeah, I'm probably assuming it's the same. It's basically I'm... like, have you ever seen a horse halter? Yes. No. Yes. Okay, so basically. Mitten bridle. 
Uh, yeah, like they just have like rope around their heads that you that has a piece coming off of it that lets you guide them one way or another by pulling their head in a certain direction. No one knows Kansas floating disc, do they? Who is this tensor? Why does his disc float? <laughs> the man who made a metal disc that floats and carries people's stuff for him. Lubricate the ground with mayonnaise. I swear it fucks. <laughs> <laughs> Lubricate the ground with mayonnaise. I love I'm it. I'm going to turn and look at him with a look of confusion. So Brad, what's a ranger spell list, Justin? What does Bradford know? <laughs> oh fuck. Bradford knows. God damn it, I had this written down some weeks. You know, speak with animals. He knows detect magic. He know levitation. He knows He knows dark vision. And he knows lesser restoration. All right. How tall is a brontosaurus? Like, how tall is it to get to the back of one? The back is probably six feet. And these are meant to be red and uh, rose, right? Yes. So they have something akin to a saddle. Not these ones. Oh, these ones don't because we just got them. <laughs> also, I, I uh, usually have we, or I've been riding just on its back. Going bad back? No. Why would you say things like this, Josh? <laughs> That's what they call it. Yeah. It is, it is what they call it. Bareback, bareback bronc riding is the thing. Does Silva have a bad pad? Does Silva have a backpack? Yeah. That's yes. a good question. Can we put the Jobit in the backpack? No. It is much too large for that. Uh, okay. I'm God, today I wish I had a bag of holding. I think it's too big to put in a bag of holding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, th this, this drill bit's like five feet long and made out of solid steel, Josh. Yeah, uh... What you're saying it is, we can. Use, does he? Fuck. What? Josh? Yeah, do you have a large reduce? No. I'm stealth boy. My fellow task. I'm you stealth have boy. Reduce? No, you're not. Nope. Alright. I assume your testing passed without trace. I have no way to get out of carrying this. Yes. Can we even stealth while carrying this thing? <laughs> a disadvantage. Okay, I get disadvantage My anyway. My stealth is already disadvantage. I think that was two. <laughs> Can there be a disadvantage disadvantage? No. <laughs> there really should be. With Jacob's help, I got a 21 stealth. I'll be going right, ahead so... of the group about... about... Uh, no, I'm leading. Uh, I'm leading on, on top. I'm fucking leading the fucking animal. So, Brett, I can't do my normal shit. Oh no, I rolled a two. Whatever will I do? Dustin, <laughs> given the fact that I'm technically driving this thing from a, on top of it, can I really what? stealth on my own, or do I have to use its stealth? Um, 
You, you can probably stealth have it. to use its stealth. Kind of was afraid of. Which you could hang on to the side or the underneath. If, if you're going with these rolls, that first one just roll eleven with pass without trace. Actually, wait, no, it'd be a ten. Yeah, bad. A ten. It's a ten. We have a ten, it, it a fourteen. Yep. We have a ten, a fourteen, and a twenty-two. I'm doing math. I have to do math for mine. Oh. I have to refine the. Do you like the roll stealth, Adam? Yes, yes, I would. <laughs> Ooh. I got twenty-four. So that becomes a thirty-four. Wait, with your plus ten as well? Oh no, not with my plus ten. Thirty-four. There you go. Good job, Adam. Alright. So. All motherfuckers. <laughs> marching down the road. That. And you can see it's had. Other. Traffic recently. And you know that there's at least that at least part of the advanced group of builders is still out here. Because there was another ship at your docking point or another barge. Dead, aren't they? I guess you'll find out, won't you? <laughs> cool. So you progress. You, um, it's about a mile from the river to your point of interest and you get to that you know four tenths of a mile mark where uh you were jumped by the super lizard last time and all that remains is bones it's been picked clean and its bones have kind of been just pushed off to the side by the way, uh, Dustin, with my two, I'm pretty sure I got a 30. Just wanted to put that out there. If I did my math right. Two and got a 30? I'm pretty sure. If I did my math right, yeah. Actually, wait, no. 28. Okay. My stealth is stupid. Paul rolled a 17 and got a 34. Let's put that in context, everyone. Uh, I don't I fully understand my ability, and doesn't fucking put it in that goddamn book. Where's Tasha's again? Well, are you talking about the plain sight one? Uh, maybe. Okay. I rolled a two and got a fifteen. <laughs> so, so the blizzard, the lizard is gone. Hit clean. Less damages. Yes. Yes, it is. Oh no. So, uh, congratulations. Um, you have an uneventful journey. I'm sure you're super happy to hear that. Always. That means he's gonna fuck us up later. <laughs> I don't even have to look up to see him smiling. Ah, <laughs> uh, this I, is I, just... I just saw an article. Dungeons and Dragons OGL response. We rolled a one. <laughs> From the <laughs> Did they? That was a response they said. Is that what they actually said? And that, that was the whole thing. I'm going Please to find out that later. That they were joking, cause that's There's a fun. YouTube video here. In all I'm honesty, that's later. fucking really stupid. So, sorry. Onward, Dustin. How safe we are. 
So there you go. Okay. You have arrived at the site of the oil well. Brontosaurus look a lot like turtles. Yeah, there's no Brontosaurus option, so... <laughs> All right. <laughs> you just have giant turtles they fit that represent that? your Brontosaurus. I don't think they'll fit. <laughs> uh, they Maybe not because of how this fucking shit works, but they'll, they'll make it through. Trust me. Good. I mean, in theory, that opening is 10 feet wide. And while, yes, these are very large creatures, um, the turtles are a little bit wider than the brontosauri would be. The brontosauri would just be a little taller. All right. So the, the so size scaling isn't perfect, but it's large. the best I got. Yeah. They fit. The they're, yeah. They're, they're three by three for tile-wise. Oh, so they're huge. Oof. Yes. So, yes, you are you are leading them down the path, and you have arrived. Yay. Is the, is the team still here? Oh, shit, I don't have a Silva Mini out here. Yes, if you look around, there are people there. Wonderful. Um... Where is it? I had a Silva thing here somewhere. I don't know where it is anymore. So we're just gonna we're just gonna use this for Silva, bringing up the end then. All right, so what do you do? You've arrived. All right. Do, do we see the first crew? I mean, if you look around the map. No, I was curious. If it's not about <sighs> moving, no. Don't want to move. Want to move around. All right. Let's open the door and fit the fit in place. Open the door, what? Oh, the, I assumed there was a gate there. And it was oh, closed. well, yes. There there would be a gate. So let's there open just the is gate. no gate in Tailspire that I could find. There is. So, so you're going to load them all in there is what I'm hearing. Yeah. Sounds like a good idea to me. Woohoo. Okay. Open. We'll, we'll say you have done that. Do do woohoo. Congrats. Yeah, yeah. Great. You are... Silva's gonna... I'm assuming you guys are gonna bring the, the drill bit over to roughly where it should be. Yes. And start hooking it up? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna need some... Uh, oh, no. Mechanical-minded rolls, probably, from you, Isaac. Then With I have the uh, assistance of Bradford. Oh, Bradford. I'll take Bradford's assistance. One of those dice bounced off and went really high. Oh, what hmm. kind of chat is this? Uh, Tinkerous tool? Uh, just intelligence? Uh, um, what, what would, like, normal, like, putting things together be? Probably Tinker's tools, I guess. What thing? Then that is, yeah, it's, uh, it's not really Tinker, but it's also not really anything else. Well, I have a fish and so, empty tool kit that I made. Yeah. Either way, it's going to be a 22. Okay. So, congratulations, you've attached your drill bit. Yay. It seems relatively secure. Like that, the stress washes away, Silva.
<laughs> Bill, why are you dying? Uh, no, I'm not getting back on Call of the Wild tonight. Oh, uh, I thought um, I saw Silver sis, was in the way. Uh, yeah, he, he, he took a step back, but, you know. <laughs> I see, like, that distressed me. Well, how's this <sighs> up there? Alright, so, your drill is all set up in your little oil pit fort here. Do you have it? Are you going to name this somewhere specific? Or name this like a specific fort, or are you just gonna leave it? This is Fort McHenry now. This is Fort McHenry. Yeah. Okay. You couldn't feel, name it worse. I feel like that's an actual fort. Well, it world. probably it probably is. It probably is. Fort. At least it's Fort not like McHenry. Fort. All right. Isaacton McIsville. <laughs> Or Isaacton McDampire. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so are you gonna test it out? Yes. All right, you're gonna have to hook up your Brontosaurus. Bradford, if you could. He will. <laughs> Gotta be running low on spell slots. He's got one more first level left and two more second. Okay. So whoever's going to uh, guide them into place and harness them, then I that need rolls. That would be uh, the two animal boys. Do I still have a second person? You have yes. advantage, yes. I'm helping whoever Tubo does not help. Well, he's casting Speak with Animals, so they get advantage. Oh, yeah, that, that already did advantage. All right. Then I'll, get, then I'll get the second one as well. Here's one. Then I can get the third. Adam, would you like to try your third one? There's two. Adam? Co? Mm. Gonna try the third Bronte saw to end the place. Sure, let's see. Is not letting me drag them for some reason, so someone oh, else no, will have to roll. roll the dice. You're doing your animal handling, bud. Yeah, you're not. You tempted to move them. That's an eight, and what's the other roll? Uh, Maybe. okay. That's been happening so many times this session, goodness. And it's so, all been me. This one slips its harness and runs off into the corner. No! <laughs> I'll go get it. Okay. Need a... Uh, yeah. Okay. 17 plus 8. Yeah. Alright. Oh my god, you even got it so it's... It's like in its mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's quite it's intentional. Good. Not actually, but you know. And what? And what? All right. So it start. You start them walking. Make sure Justin doesn't get trampled here. <laughs> He's a spendable. Jesus. No we healing for you. I'm, I'm assuming everyone has moved into here. At this point, yeah, I would yes. imagine we have made another drill bow in nine months. I can't make another drill bit. <laughs> so you uh, it start you start One. they start going around, <laughs> and uh, you can hear the grinding as this bit grinds through the bits of stone and clump dirt and everything as it starts digging further and further down. And it's, you're going for about 10 minutes. And you start to see a little bit of oil start seeping up. Seep. 
Yes. <laughs> no, not not C. <laughs> Same <laughs> fucking thing. No. Bradford, oh, no it's we got... <laughs> Bradford, we got oil. We're rich. Hey, come on, boy. How how loud is this, by the way? It's not overly loud. I mean, it's loud enough in the fort, but you feel like the fort probably dulls a good bit of it. Okay. And uh, I'm gonna walk the perimeter of the fort while while this is going on. You okay. Just because I want to see if there's any structural flaws. And if there's any way we can uh, protect it, like, or conceal it a bit better. Like, throw some debris and tree limbs across it to kind of camouflage it into the ground. Okay, so you're on the perimeter outside is right. where you're walking? Okay. All right. So you're doing that. Anybody else doing anything, or are you just sitting there kind of admiring your handiwork? It's like watching a forklift. You know, he can't, oh. can't look away. I can't look away. Yeah. My hand it was. All right. So proud of me. So I need a perception from everybody. Does Do any of you have any special senses or anything that I don't know about? Uh, uh, besides dark vision, no. Okay. Uh, I'm rolling with a disadvantage since I'm mesmerized by by what? That's a three. Okay. I said, I said we got it. Uh, that's a nine. Ooh. 26. 26? Okay. So, let's see. Which which one are you? You are this guy. And I'm out we'll of the say, <laughs> Yeah, you're, you're here. We'll mm. say you're about there. Um, You can kind of hear a little bit of what's going on inside and feel a little bit of vibration in the earth kind of just like a sequential pattern that lines up with the pace of the Brontosaurus drilling, right? Mm -hmm. Within that, you sense a very slight tremor pass beneath you. Can I jump the fence? And the fence is 15 feet tall. I am a satyr. I double my distance. This is true. You may attempt to jump the fence. Right. And I believe it's athletics. You're jumping. I thought it was just your strength plus. Or your, your strength gave you a certain height that you can high jump and then because you're a satyr, it's doubled or something, right? Oh, is it that what it is? Yeah, I... I Jump and distance. I is... think I can jump twelve. No, uh, if I was human, so I can jump twenty-four. Yeah. <clears throat> Jumping your high jump is three plus your strength modifier. So that'd be fifteen normally. Okay. So that means I can jump thirty feet. No, you you leap into the air three plus your strength modifier. Oh, modifier. Right. Yeah, not score. Modify. Uh, like, wait a minute. 15. What? <laughs> My bad. Uh, <laughs> I only have a plus one, so three plus, so that's four, so I can go up eight feet. So okay, so you're it, you're I can... barely able to get, like, halfway up the fence. Is that, but that's off the ground, so I could, that means I could barely latch onto the top of the fence with the remaining of my height because it are you seven you feet tall off. no it tells you how far you get off the ground yeah so you're so the, the bottom of your feet, feet are at eight so you were you'd have to be able to reach up like seven feet so how tall are you not very tall i think count is he's like... seven feet tall <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> no uh i don't even know if i 
put a, a height note on him. I think it was like fucking somewhere between five or six feet. I just don't remember where it's still. It's so, so with your arm outstretched, you might be close. I'll let you roll athletics to grab the top of the wall and pull yourself up. That had been my roll from earlier. earlier. Okay. Like 16. 16. I'm going to say you are you can grab on, but you're, you, you're like fingertipping it. You can't quite get yourself up right now. You're either going to have to use a second separate action if we go on action economy to uh, try to swing yourself up or you're going to have to drop down and go around. I don't get any advantage for being able to climb trees like I have been able to. <laughs> nope. Okay. Just wanted to check. Rip. So. I don't really have any other way to alarm to alarm them, so I, I'm basically just going to be trying to pull myself up, and if they notice that, then they notice that. If they don't, they don't. Well, I think more than noticing your fingers peeking over the top of the wall, they're going to notice this. Yep. Austin, <laughs> could you summon me to the board, please? Oh. He, his, his tail's very crash. He's a no, I was, I, was ma I was making maps, so I wasn't even on. Ah. So I wasn't needed. So, uh, so I was making maps. As, He's as a Pokemon. That, I'm just going to ask real quick. Did it come out of the drill bit hole? No. No, it did not. Okay. Is his mouth open? Yes. It's a very large creature with... Well, huge creature with uh, kind of metallic plates running the length of its body, armoring its skin, and its large jaws seem like they could crush rock. Austin, is this considered a beast? Out of curiosity. Um, I think so. Let me double check it. Just because I do bonus damage and can do special stuff it's a beast, if it's a beast. Oh, your sworn enemy or something? Yep. Nope, it is a monstrosity. Fuck. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Did we get the roll initiative, Justin? Yep, now's the time to roll initiative. Uh, excuse me. If its mouth's still open on my turn, I'm going to cast Shatter inside of it. <laughs> huh. Yeah, it's doing that thing to me, Ko. Not letting me roll a die. I got a 10. It's spawning the dice, but it's not rolling it. Yeah, that's what was happening to me. Strange. I wasn't very happy about it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, can someone roll the dice? You got a fourteen. Because uh, I can look, because I can look at it's still rolling the dice. Oh. I saw it land. I can see the number. Okay, let's go with it's that one. It's just not, it's just not generating in the menu. Yeah, so that's a seventeen. I'll just. And I don't know why it's doing that. Yeah, that is. Okay. I might. I don't want to DC, but. That would be the time before you're on the list. That's yeah. True. True. All right. With the power of Jesus. So if you can't roll two, you might want to DC and come back before you get added to the initiative list. Oh. Come on. Yeah, I, I will I will hold up here and wait for people to Adam if necessary. Adam rolled. Is it possible? Um, I that? got a 12. I'm going to go fill my water. I will be right back. Well, my initiative is plus five. Ooh, 18, that's good. So once everyone's back into Tailspire that dropped out, let me know. That's okay, we can start without him. You don't have to pull him to the map, Dustin. All right, yeah. you can pull me. All right, so that's why I'm like, you're, you're ready? All right. Yep. Why is that not working? Uh, fuck you. Now it works. Yeah. Okay. I've been doing some weird shit. 
All right. So. Perfect. Anybody get above a 20? No. All right. So above a 15. Yeah, Jacob said he done 18. Jacob's got an 18. I think. Don't quote me on that. Okay. I got an 18. Adam got an 18. 19. So we got a 19 from Hound. Um, where the fuck? Silva with a 16. All right. Um, anybody above a 10? I got a 10. You got a 10? All right. And then Kubo, I'm assuming you got like a below a 10? Uh, no, I got a 17. Oh, you got a 17. Yeah. That Jacob should be... Throw the first dice. Yeah, I'll have to double check what Jacob's was. Oof, wow. My uh, GPU is at 86 degrees. That's normal. Yeah, I just, my fan just kicked in and I opened up my drawer or the door on the cabinet to let a little bit of more air flow through there because it got kind of loud. Gotcha. I was say, like, mine usually runs at about 96. Hmm. Yeah. Jacob, get back here. Really? It's a good thing Josh isn't going to work, otherwise we might have to have... Yeah. Well, we might yeah. we might have gotten through this combat, but... It's just a good thing that... Oh, my I'm GP. Going to work. Yeah, I'm at, like... High 70s. Justin, what do you think of my game plan if that thing doesn't shut its mouth? I mean, you can do what you want. I will. The shatter's good against constructs, right? Anything made out of non living material. I don't think this counts as non-living material. Because it's just natural armor? Let me pull yeah. Back. Uh, creature is made of crystal, made of inorganic materials such as stone, crystal, or metal have disadvantage. Hmm. Or if they're yeah. armored by it, I believe, but I no. think it's just the actual creature itself, usually. It's made of, is what it says. Otherwise, people in flight mail would have disadvantage on Shatter. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, excuse me. Because no, it's it's just it's 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 hide. That really is. It's just very well armored. That really is very disadvantage. All right, Jacob. What was your uh, initiative again? Twelve. 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 Okay. What is your Dex modifier? That's with my Dex modifier. Yeah, but do you, okay. Do you want to go before or after? Seven? Oh, uh, plus four is my initiative modifier. Plus four. Okay, so you got to go there. I All right. I you said eighteen. I'm sorry. All right, hound first. We got my water downstairs. I suppose I'm getting the getting up still. Okay, so you're gonna. Am use I able to your... finish that with my movement action, or do I still have to use my action to do that? I'm going to say action just because you're literally, like, hanging fingertips off the wall. So you're going to have to make, like, an athletics to to get all the way up. Yep. That is a, another 16. You're good. Not that I can do anything from up here. Except that took my action. <laughs> yeah. We are standing on the floor. All right, Adam is up. Hmm. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's just out of my... Actually, no, that's not out of my range, is it? No. Your gun's got a lot longer range than that thing is standing. That thing is currently 50 feet away from you. Do we see the need to kill it? It popped out of the ground inside your fort. That is all the information you have. You could, does he see Hound pointing a gun at it from atop the rafters? If you're aiming your gun at it, then he probably would, yeah. Seeing as he's looking in that general direction anyways. Let that be your answer if you want. <laughs> well, I guess that's an answer. Okay. 14. That's a miss. Yep. That <laughs> they both counted to a test. Okay, where is Bradford? Uh, Bradford is probably, I mean, I, I can give him a mini. He's not in the combat, but uh -huh. I can give him a mini just so you know where he's at. Order for um, yeah. But he, he's, become dangerous. he's over here. Okay, thank God. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> thank God. Yeah, no, he's he's right here. Ah! There you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I tell him, Bradford, stay over there. Let us handle this. Uh, not a problem, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, five, ten. I'll move here and take the dodge action. Okay. Silva. Silva is going to turn around and just walk 30 feet over here. Pull up his bar and fire off a, a burst. Oh no. That uh that misses. If you're gonna be loud as fuck with the gun, you might as well hit. Solely because, uh, Silva is firing machine gun fire. The drill is over here, right? And the actual uh, drilling no. mechanism? Uh, uh that's here. That, that's where, I'm a, it's where, it's here, it's where your, gotcha. your dudes are. Gotcha. 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 Silva is into Rapid firing machine gun shots in the direction that could damage my equipment. Oh shit! I forgot I leveled up Silva. He he has an extra attack now. Easy I'll remember attack. that next turn. I'll remember that next turn. All right, well, uh, you remember now? It's still his turn. I guess yeah, technically it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give him the shot, fucker. Don't. Don't cheat us out of damage, cocksucker. <laughs> damage. Well, there's damage. There's damage. All right. Thirteen Jeez. damage, to be yeah. exact. All right. So as Silva just unloads the into this fucking thing, um, you, you know, his first shot misses. He kind of settles himself a little bit, shoots off another burst, and it rips through the front of this creature. All right. Who is next? Is Wolfheart. All right. I'm trying to just spread out a little bit. <laughs> my chances of shooting someone. 
Get out of fireball range. <laughs> this thing knows bonus. Uh, Hunter's Mark bonus action. Okay. And then... Multi-attack, I'm going to be using my rifle. Okay. And that has five shots in it, remind me. Yes. Carbine rifle has a five-shot magazine. So the... 14 will hit, the 2 will obviously miss due to what, having a plus what is, what, 9. I'm assuming your plus is more than 3. You're saying I have a plus 9, yes. Yes. Okay. Then the, the 14 is definitely a hit. Alright, and the rifle does a D8. I get a D8 e. due to Colossus Slayer, and I get a D6 due to Hunter's Mark. Yep, that is how it works. <laughs> oh. Your uh, rolls are kind of shit, though. Yeah, my rolls are kind of shit. Actually, it's kind of closer to average. You mad Silva. So. You got a 1 Silva on an 8. An extra dice. Silva had uh, D4s, not D8s. Um, I, didn't, I didn't see what that was. That was a 9. I got 13. Thir no, 13 damage? 13 damage. Yeah. And so... that is my turn. Alright. This thing, having uh, watched Silva walk up to it, point a loud stick at it that made it go ow, is going to kind of just do one of these things where it's going to just kind of take a step and jump oh. and land right here. Meaning, I need a strength or dex, your choice, save. I get advantage, because I'm dodging. That is a 16. Okay. 16? All right, you pass. Silva also passed. All right. <gasps> so you both take half of this. Oh, that's a three and a four. No. Plus eight. Twelve. So you guys take fifteen damage each. Fifteen each. This is not magical. This is bludgeoning and slashing. Um, Silva is going to use his Goliath racial feature mm, that one, yeah. to reduce that damage by a total of oh, wait. seven. Where's that by five? Huh. Alright, so both of you did reduce damage. Good. Good. The troops. Oh, yeah, and I had those, um, Five hit points. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna just clear these dice because that's a lot of fucking dice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then I need to read this thing again to see if it can do this again. Okay. I just need to read. Isaac, it's your turn. Is it mouth? Is its mouth still open? Oh, and, yes, uh, or no, the the mouth is closed, but the one thing I forgot to mention is you are both pushed five feet out of its space. Is All its right. eyes armored? Not particularly. All right, I'm going to try to rip one of its eyes out with my thunder gauntlet. Fucking Christ, Josh. 
Oh, that ain't that the Did you expect anything less from him? He's I fucking swear. with my shit. What are you trying to do, Josh? I'm gonna use my thunder gauntlet to remove its eye from its socket. Okay. So that's the equivalent of, I guess, an aimed shot. So what did you roll to hit? Let's see. I'm trying to do math. Remember, aim shot is a disadvantage. Yep, that's why I rolled two. Okay, then. Oh, I only got a 15. That is a miss. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> it's such a shame if I tried this again. If I fucked it up again, I'm just gonna go to the magic missile method. Yeah, I think you fucked it up again. <laughs> magic missile method it is. I'm gonna end my turn. I'm gonna go take a piss and call on the Okay. Hound! You are up. I am sitting here. Uh, I don't have a real good shot of anything fleshy from him, right? No, no, you do not. His butthole. If it I'm is. going to go ahead and not be stupid. <laughs> I'm going to jump down to the ground and then aim for one of its front um, digging pads with his hand, claw All right. to, ma to make it so that way if it tries to burrow again it it's going to have a very bad time at it with the BFG by the way and okay. since, since it's an aim shot I'll, use, I'll spend a crit a grit to make it so that way I don't have to have it at disadvantage <laughs> I think I That's hit. a hit. <laughs> All right. 2d8. Uh 10 damage for that one. I'll do a quick reload. I just want to double check how many how many grit dice they have right now. Just to double check I don't spend too many. Gunsmith? Is it only gunsmith? No. Where are you at? The deputy. Wisdom modifier. Wonderful. So that means I currently have five of those fuckers. So I'll spend another one to do the exact same thing on his other digging pad. So another aim shot, two grit points ex extended, expended. Okay. Ooh. Wow. Like Talk that. about getting fucking ass handed Ooh. to you, man. Uh, 29 into his other hand. Okay, alright. BFG, motherfucker. 29, huh? Alright. Okay. I gotta do math now. Uh, let's just subtract 30 and add 1, which gives that much health left. So I just did... 39 damage in one round. You, you did a bunch, yeah. To both of its digging claws. Yep. That's my turn. Did you say you came down off the fence? Yes, I did. Sorry, I meant to. Okay. I for, completely forgot to move myself. Okay. But I was like, I'm not. I'm not firing from this from the top of the fence. I know what happens. <laughs> but you gave up the high ground. Doesn't matter <laughs> now. Doesn't matter when I just went and went pow pow. <laughs> That's 
It's my turn. You are up. And I have to reload. Alright. So best I can do is move to a slightly better position and reload. You have two attack actions, buddy. Okay, so can I reload and attack? Correct. It's because you didn't take the thing that allows you to do a reload feat, you can use your second attack to reload, so that means you can attack every round now. Now, cool. like I do that. believe that's how it works. <laughs> Wait, is he a rogue? That's going to be a miss, though. Yes, he's a rogue. You're a rogue, right? Does he have multi-attack as a rogue? Mm, I don't actually know. Do rogues get multi-attack? It's been too long since I've played a rogue. I've never played a rogue. Josh. Oh, he's on the phone. Right, um, question. Do rogues. rogues get multi attack? I don't. No. Think so. No, they don't. Oh, well, then. Because they, they get go. they get sneak attack. Yes. Which is mind. kind of their fuck. Well, I missed so. Yeah. This level you have so three d six sneak attack. I for I keep forgetting that Ko is a is a rogue even because he's basically just another me. He's basically a ranger. Let's be honest. Yeah. Right. I am flanking, so I can attack twice with advantage. That is an 18 to hit. Is it hit? Second attack. Is a 17 to hit. That is also a hit. Perfect. Eight, six, five. That is a 13 damage. 13. All right. Yes. So, Silva. What was I needed for? I heard you say my name last time. So uh, we are trying to remember if Ko has a uh, multi attack yet or not. No, or rogues did. never did multi attack. And I, yeah, that's why I was like, oh yeah, he's a rogue, right? So, Silva is going to fire one shot or one burst, I should say, and hit. Fires the second burst. Which is also a hit. Silver, silver, silver. Which means he does a fuck ton of damage. <laughs> and yeah. This thing is dead. <laughs> well that was my plan B. <laughs> Josh, you missed me rolling, roll, uh, doing uh, forty some damage in one round. Meaning it's uh, Wolfheart's turn. No, it's not over. Oh yeah, I had to see the one added to the initiative behind me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wish there was a way to hide that a little longer. I guess I could have just not put it in yet. Well, that was fast. Holy shit. Yeah, you guys took that out a fuck ton of a lot faster than I thought you would. Multi-attack, oh, BB. Say, up. It's, it's a good thing I'm not on to half HP, Dustin. Why? Oh, because I've got a bite attack. It does piercing damage. I did advantage on if I'm on to half HP, or at half HP. Which gives me the piercing damage to my next attack. Which means I didn't have a match attack of plus 11 to hit. Next, he's gonna throw a dragon at us. So I did... Might have to. I mean, I only have a plus 6 to hit with the bite because it's dealt off my tom. Or another super lizard. Trauma, I don't need a dragon. Trauma, trauma, trauma. Basically, the dragon of your world. Let's be real. I mean, the dragon not really. The Just wait, it'll be called the super <laughs> duper lizard. The super flying. No, no, it'll just be like the one you fought was a baby. I, ju I did just get an idea. Oh, no. I did just get an idea. 
to. S <laughs> oh, I don't know if anyone's ever made one in D and D, but I did just get an idea. Oh no. So, huh? so uh, what are you doing, Wolfhart? Oh, there is a stat block. Actually, Wait, we're still kinda, in combat. It kind of yeah. sucks. <laughs> I'm gonna have to make my own. I thought he was dead. I'm confused. It is dead. It is that that hasn't popped up yet. Oh. <laughs> then I guess I just reload because well, I don't easy. see anything. Easy button. <laughs> well, right. that was easy. As then fucking another one comes in and snatches. Yes. Yep. So Isaac, it died right in front of you. It just fucking collapsed. All right. Uh, is, is there Lumerians around us? Are those the people working on this? Uh, yes, there are Lumerians around. You can see there's six within the fort. <clears throat> Bradford, can you ask what this is? <laughs> and if it travels in packs. So... Bradford says something, and uh, he gets back. They call it a bullet, and not much is known about them. Right. Right. They're not very common. No one here has ever seen a living one. Look at that, boys. We made history again by killing something no one's ever killed. That's not what they said. It's definitely not what they said. I, mean, I said none of the six people here have ever seen a living one. I realize. I think it's like a... <laughs> I'm gonna end my turn now. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> okay. Time to burst the bubble. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, time to burst your bubble. Oh. <laughs> I, I need... make the loudest kaboom. Yeah, I need you to make me either a dex or strength save, DC 16, your choice. Did you choose who the, who that was going to be targeting after all the damage went around, or was this a thing you already planned? This uh, came at you because you're the closest one to where it came from. You said it was either athletics or... It, it's a strength or dex save, your choice. My strength is slightly better. Fighters are weird like that, even though I don't have a good plus. That's a 13. That's a fail. Rock on, brothers! Rock and so stone! So you're gonna take... Oh, that's a lot of dice! <laughs> you're taking 32 damage as this thing jumps out of the ground and pounces on top of you. Knocking you prone in the process. I can't help you there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> too far away. I'm under half, boys. Yeah, these things, when they hit bad and you don't make the save, they hit hard. Fuck it. Well, don't worry. I'm about to do the same thing to it. And you guys got to hope they don't travel in uh, packs of three. They <laughs> <We> do. <laughs> this part does haunted pack of ten. <laughs> so, uh, so how, yeah. How, it's... Wait, how did it attack me? It, it just hit me very hard or it bit me? Or... It, ca it came out of the ground and basically launched itself at you. Like right underneath you. Jumped up and body slammed you for and all you intents said I'm, and purposes. I'm you're, prone. You're, you're, I'm not, you're prone. Am I underneath it or am I knocked by? You are prone underneath it. Yeah, underneath it. Wonderful. That means I'm on its underside. 
with the BFG. And I don't shoot at disadvantage at close quarters. You can't point your gun at it either because it weighs a lot more and it's laying on top of you. Hmm. This is one of those saves where if you pass it, you get moved. Yeah, if you pass it, you get knocked out of the way. If you fail it, you're stuck underneath the bulk of this thing with its entire weight pressing you into the dirt. Hmm. Yeah. So I don't even have any way to shoot it right now. No. Unless you have a pistol. You could maybe... That would be maybe well, small enough to try to shoot. Because you said it's basically laying on top of me. That yeah, pretty the much. The gun is basically... It's going... It's on it anyway. It just means I can't aim it anywhere. You could try to shoot it in the head from underneath it if it's laying on you. That's kind of my point. I can still fire the bullet, it's just the fact that I can't aim it anywhere specific. Is it a D, uh... Yeah. Or to decide what I direction guess. it's pointing? It just but also it... means that I, because he's laying on top of me, I can't reload, so this is my one shot. Yeah. Until it gets Yeah. Away. So, yes, theoretically, you can pull the trigger. Whether the bullet hits it or not is anybody's guess, because it's laying on top of you, pressing you into the dirt. So you don't really know exactly where it's going. I would like, Could you pull the trigger? Have, yes, but it might Would not I have hurt. disadvantage? Absolutely. Then I'll spend a grip point to not. <laughs> Thumb Selena. Fuck, okay. That's still a 17, but... Yeah... Because of the situation, I'm going to make you do an even or odd here. Fuck off. Uh, <laughs> odd. <laughs> you said odd? Yeah. All right. Watch. It's going to be even. It's going to be like, Tubo, so can <laughs> help you here. And can help you with that. And how just fucking blows Tubo's shoulder out of its sock. If you would have rolled in that one, that shot would have hit one of you. Oh, thank God. Instead, this shot just fires past his head into the wall. Oh. Mm. Anything I, I can do with my second attack action? Never know how to miss. <laughs> never know how I to mean, miss, as he's literally just... <laughs> I mean, there's not a whole lot, because, like I said, this thing is a huge creature laying on top of you with its entire body weight. But is the underside less armored than the top side? Like I'm, I'm yes. Assuming? Okay. Yes, the underside I'm taking, is less. I, armored. I'm gonna take out my boot dagger and fucking shove it in him. I said less, not on. I know. Okay. I let me tell you, I don't have good strength, so this isn't going. Oh, well, actually, with a dagger, I can use that, that is a finesse weapon. Correct. That is that is true. I, I should technically make you roll at a disadvantage since you're like, eh. you are prone. Uh, so eleven plus. It's bit. It's the same. So yeah. So eleven plus eight. So nineteen. Yeah. I'll, I'll I'll let that be a hit. Dagger, stab. The damage is still with my strength, right? Or is that is that dex as well, Josh? It's dex as well. It's dex. dex as well. Cool. So six damage. All right. Ooh, you did six damage to it. Get the fuck off me, you bitch. <laughs> That's my turn. All right. All right. 17, does that hit? That does hit. Christ, finally. (laughs) 
to D8. Eleven. Eleven? All right. Use my extra attack to reload. Okay. Ubo. Um, remember, I you don't have an extra attack. I'm sorry. You don't. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah that, that's that was right. My inner, that, that was my yeah, oh, that was us wait, thinking wait, wait, he was wait. a ranger. But what? Chose a level five road. He did sneak attack, sneak attack on that because he has an uninterpassated ally within five feet of the creature. <laughs> I did just stab it. Roll three d six. Yeah, you're not, you're not wrong. Roll three d six. Go. You're not wrong. He's he's all but incapacitated though. So? Toy? What's up? Roll three D sets. You have sneak attack because we all forgot that uh what's his name? Hound isn't incapacitated. Oh, seventeen. <laughs> no, that's just twelve. It's you don't add your modifier other. to that. Yeah, no. it's just oh. yours. It's well, I got one more. I didn't make that much of a difference. No, it's good. That's an extra 12 Ooh. damage. Yeah. I okay. see you moved. Yep. Uh, and then I'm, I guess I'll take out my rifle and fire it twice. Let's pray to God that I don't hit. God, this is, he's face. gonna hit a little fucking... Oh my god, he's gonna hit a little Miriam. <laughs> so uh, then, one of uh, us. Or me. So I'm that's underneath a... it. That's an 8 and a 13. Yeah, those bolts just bounce harmlessly off of it. Yup. You just see a fucking middle finger fly up and like, <laughs> don't hit me. It's <laughs> my first time shooting at this campaign. It shows. Yup. <laughs> Silva is going to let loose with his bar once again and miss and then use his second attack to reload because he emptied his clip you want to clear the dice Dustin no, I no. can clear the dice thank you and make it Wolfheart's turn Alright. Oh, I'm gonna move Hunter's Mark first. I forgot. Okay. And the lowest there is an 18. It's a hit. So that's. Mm -hmm. It's 48. To... Wait, no, I think Colossus... Does Colossus only proc... Colossus Slayer only procs once per turn, I would believe. That's what I thought. But I don't think Hunter's Mark does. Yes, it does. Every hit, you get it. Yeah, Hunter's Mark is every hit, but I believe Colossus Slayer is once per turn. Yeah, in that context, that's what I meant, because he said, I think Colossus Slayer is once per turn, and I was saying, I don't think Hunter's Mark is, though. Yeah. Yeah, so it'd be three three D eight and two D six, I believe. Yep, one once per turn. So ignore we'll ignore the fourth D eight, because I'm not gonna Yeah, fair. So Damn, should have said the third. Twenty three So twenty three plus Give me a second. Four, so twenty seven. Alright. I think. Wait, and... uh, was that one attack or two, Jacob? That was two. Was so what did that modify? Oh, right, so... That. Did another plus four, then? Gee, so it'd be... Well, what's the additional? 
Because I already took the 27 off. So another four. Okay. I didn't think you had a plus two deaths, Jacob. I didn't. I, I, didn't. I, I don't. <laughs> it's just I didn't I didn't think hard enough because they rolled all the dice at once. No, that it's all good. I just didn't want to assume that you had a higher death than you do. That one's dead. That one is dead. Okay. If you hide him or delete him, it'll pull him off of the turn order. Mm -hmm. At least it, oh, it does, hiding him doesn't pull him off the turn board. Nope. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I thought it did. Awesome. I'm going to test the second level magic missile. And these two bolts go to its left eye. So that's five. And these two bolts go to its right eye. Which is eight. Okay. I don't know if it's blind yet or not, but we'll get there. We will get there. This sheet. Now, it making a melee attack gets advantage against Hound because he's prone, I believe. Correct? Uh, no, it's advantage. Melee is advantage when you're when you Yeah, that, that's what that's what I said. That is what he said. <laughs> I thought you said disadvantage. Making that a twenty-four. That's uh, yeah, it's the it, you didn't need the advantage. I would have preferred the second one. <laughs> I know you would have. Because you just took thirty-three damage. Hey, you want to make a wisdom save? <laughs> I can make it a wisdom save, yes. Um, By the way, boys. Unconscious? Uh-huh. Is that 33? It's a 12. Yes, 33 damage. So it takes 33 radiant damage. Oh my god! Yeah. Actually? Yes. Yeah. If you passed it, would have halved. That still would have fucking killed it. Paladin's Oath of Redemption are basically, oh no, you hit my friend really hard. Why are you, you hitting yourself? Why are you, you hitting yourself? Oh. The only problem here now is this very large, very dead creature that weighs a very much lot of weight is laying on top of Hound, who is unconscious. But Hound has a middle finger sticking out from Andre we can heal him from. <laughs> I don't think it's going to help me much. No, we kill you, you won't die. It's true. Then we could have Silver roll it over. With help. So, so, are we out of initiative? Yes, you are out of initiative. Okay. So we'll give him some HP and we'll roll this fucker over. <laughs> Bradford, you can look at the other dead one. Oh, the oh, me. Oh. You get uh, 13 HP. Wound the bow. Indeed. Silver. All right. <laughs> Silver, you're going to help us move this thing. All right, Shadow. I gotta cut out. I will talk to you in a bit. All right. I rolled a dirty twenty. Do you see it? Yep. I got a set. Da -da -da. Later. Right. So we got a. What did you say? A twenty. I heard a twenty from somebody. Yep. All right. That's a twenty-one from Silva. So that's 41. What are six. you roll six? Well, wait, if it's athletics, that's a little higher than a six. Hold on. It's athletics. That's a nine. Nine. Putting it exactly at 50, which is just barely enough to roll this thing up enough to get Hound out from under and drop it back down. What 
kind of metal is it made out of? It's not metal. Oh, I thought it was actual metal. I thought died. Metallic looking, but not metal. I thought it was metal. Oh, it's going to stop making things out of its skin. <laughs> Doesn't mean you, you can't. It's just not metal. We've already made a lot of noise. Do you think it bounced a bullet, Bilbo? Do you have a pistol? Uh, no, but I have my rifle. Silva pulls up his pistol from behind you, or from next to you, he's like, I got one. Silva, try to shoot the metal. Try to shoot the metallic bit. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna step away in case it ricochets. <laughs> it goes through. God damn it, I thought it might be bulletproof. <laughs> uh, Josh, the metallic bit is like the entirety of the backside of this thing. So 90% of the damage you guys did to it would have been through this metallic colored I was skin. It might be able to bounce a pistol round. No one shot it with a pistol round. <laughs> yeah, Those are significantly smaller caliber than what people have been using. Well, if you remember when Kubo shot, he, uh, two of them bounced off harmlessly. Yes, I did remember that with the rifle. Yeah, it might be useful. We'll find out. I wonder if people skin these. We can't take them back, though. Yeah, good, good luck. Good luck taking these back. I said we can. Uh, I'm gonna look over to uh, Wolfhart and say, uh, and I'll type out a message and hand it to him. That'll say, uh, that'll say these might be good for provisions for the men here. Mm. Well, yeah. I think it'll take a taste like chicken. Well, it doesn't taste like chicken if you've been around long enough. You know what I think these things would taste like? What? Turtles. Worms. Oh yeah. No. Oh, because turtles. they uh, eat rocks. Ah, <laughs> uh, worms. The druid spaghetti. Nothing. <laughs> 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 Are you okay? No. I'm just thinking of a bait shop and they give you those little styrofoam things of worms. And, oh god, and the druid just with chopsticks or something, just like ramen. That's a spicy meatball. Oh. Dustin, did you see Dustin fucking spit oh. in water? <laughs> oh. oh god. Congratulations, you've killed a mated pair of bullets. Do they have babies we can tame? You don't know they're mated, but I, I'm telling you as oh no. DM to player, they are a mated pair that attacked you. Oh. You guys as actual characters do not know shit. I still want to give a damn. <laughs> yeah, I just want to know if those babies we didn't kidnap and raise as our own. Told you Josh was going to do something like this. I knew he would want to. They didn't did. We could use them to mine oil. <laughs> and yes, enslave the bullets, Josh. Only the infants that are tameable. We must kill the parents first. That's how it's done, boys. Make it any less some animals. It's... Listen, as bad as this is, I was listening to a D and D story where there was a troop of adventurers hanging out outside a cave. They killed some trolls in, but they didn't know if there were children trolls inside that were going to try to kill them. So one of them takes the head of the dead parent troll 
rolls it in and stands outside with his broadsword ready. And when they run out screaming, he just lops the heads off. That was fucked up. Wow. To quote the DM in that game, you are one cold son of a bitch. Yeah. Yeah, I concur with that DM. Jesus. Now when we have the ball, where do I fall? About there. Uh, today's episode of Half Fucked Up is fucked up. That's <laughs> fucked up. That's fucked up. <laughs> so... Bradford, what have you found out? Uh, they're quite marvelous. They seem to have some sort of uh, semi-rigid skin on t top of their actual skin. It's quite incredible. I would love to, you know, spend more time looking at this if we have the ability. Although, and he, as he pulls out a scalpel, I'm not sure this is going to do much. Probably need something more like this. <laughs> Showing him my dagger. Uh, yes, I was quite possibly. Planning, I was already planning on cutting, uh, starting to dissect the one we had over here, separating the skin from the meat and trying to cook, either cook or dry the meat that we had from this thing. Do yeah. a survival check. So he's like, I don't think this thing will cut it. As he just looks over at his hound is already halfway through one. Yeah, I guess survival check then for uh, skinning this monstrosity. What it's, are you uh, using? Silva helping me? My dagger. Yeah, if you ask Silva, he'll help you, so you'll get it straight. Oh, straight. Okay. Oh, perfect. A perfect dissection. 28. <laughs> So a perfect. Bradford just kind of stops what he's doing and walks <laughs> over and watches you work. <laughs> like, and just, I just, gotta, just, I just gotta... silently watching as you're pulling this thing apart bit by bit, pulling pieces of skin back as you dig your dagger in along the side like you're skinning it, and he's just standing there like writing notes on a small notepad. I just like stand up. I kind of just like shit. Wait, wait literally wait. jump as Bradford's just silently standing behind me. Do any of these? Do we know of any of these Lemurians speak common, real quick? You can ask them. Do one of y'all speak common? <laughs> they just—they all turn and look at you. And by at this point, by the way. The, the other groups, having heard a massive pile of fighting and gunshots go off, have retreated inside the fort. Hmm. Do any of them raise their hand? No. Meat's you know how, on the for someone who doesn't know how to eat, you know how to prepare food really well. <laughs> Flash my thumbs up. Reminds me of someone I met in the army. <laughs> you were in the army? Well, I was there for the first war. Medical on the front lines in the trenches. I remember World War I. Those were the days, weren't they? Yeah, you probably fought with the Germans on that one. No, no. no. <laughs> I was never a Nazi. <laughs> the Nazis didn't exist until uh, 1938. Oh, yeah, right. That was World War II. So, so World War One, the Germans were just guys that wanted to dominate everyone. And did you know Annie Oakley could have prevented World War One if she would have missed her trick shot? What? She shot a cigarette out of Frederick Wilhelm's mouth. He later went on to start World War One. I. I will huh. spew this fun fact for the party. <laughs> <laughs> well, that. Well, that's interesting. 
full of fun knowledge up in here. <laughs> yes, welcome to my history chat stream. <laughs> He's, he's gonna d dust himself down after getting spooked by Bradford, and I'll kind of just point to the other one, and then point back to me and Silva. Okay. Uh, as in, uh, like, uh, questioning, like, do you want me to do that one to as well? Uh, but, uh, to yes, please, if you, if you wouldn't mind. You did such excellent work on this one. No point in, you know, me trying to butcher it if you, you can do better. Now that you've said that, mm. can I just ask because of how well I did this one? Yes, so you can have you can have advantage on this one <laughs> because yes. I was gonna say now that you said I... that it's gonna be a fucking one. Yes, I, I, was, I was gonna give you advantage on it anyways. <laughs> Since he's being, uh, I would have laughed if you rolled two ones. Just I would have lost my shit. Like, I would have lost my shit. I don't want you. I don't want to butcher it. <laughs> Does Bradford notice that these things are male and female? Austin, did you notice that they're male and female? Cutting them apart, probably. Would yeah. have you have uh, made that observation to Bradford if he hadn't noticed already? I mean, that's if he hadn't made the observation. I, I'll be honest, I don't think Hound would have cared. Okay. Yeah. Besides maybe setting so, up the, the testicles and penis on one. All right. <laughs> Off to the sides, because that's not going to be for consumption. And... <laughs> Rocking Mountain Oil. So, some, somebody call Even or Odd. Even. Odd. I heard Even first. It's odd. So Bradford <laughs> does not pick up on the fact that they're male and female. Okay. You gotta listen to me, guys. He's He was he was too busy on the first one just being mesmerized by the knife work. Oh, oh my god, Wolfheart, you should tell them we're okay. <laughs> oh. Yeah. It's my turn. I guess I'll go tell tell everyone we're fine, I guess. Um, I, feel like I guess we can in. get our dinosaurs walking again. Drilling. Quick question, <laughs> just because they have some semblance of intelligence, right? These brontosaurs, very minimal. Very minimal. The okay. things you killed are probably smarter. Okay, then maybe maybe it doesn't matter as much. But I was like, <laughs> since I've been the one that's been with Adam's help, but I I, I think uh, with Adam's help, it's been either me or him. Just me standing up from two carcasses that I just completely butchered in front of them. How does their attitude act around me? Well, it Since the they probably would have stopped and watched. Uh, they don't seem to care a whole lot. That, that, that's kind of... I was like, if they had more intelligence, it would probably be more of a... <laughs> hey, there, theirs is more of a, oh, there was something going on, loud noises, and now things are dead, but nothing hurt us, so... <laughs> Fair enough. I think good. We killed the shit. You killed the shits. Murder. Murder hobos. They were self defense. Coming right at us. Yeah, the it's knife officer, I swear. He ran right in front of my truck. Where <laughs> the interstate? Oh, down that other yeah. shaft on 37 yeah. bullets. I had to reload. <laughs> yeah, officer, I swear. It was so weird. Just like, all of a sudden there was a gun in my hand and a dead body on the floor. Dad, you should find the magician doing this to people. Yeah, it's it's kind of disturbing, you know? <laughs> like, this dude just got into my house and, like, left me a gun and a dead body. Like, how many other people is he going to do this to before you catch him? <laughs> oh. Law enforcement nowadays, not believing everything I tell them. Cool. 
We have Glish. Yes. Coming up. Yay. Yes, you have uh you have acquired a source of Gish. Fuck. Now you just have to build a refinery and a transport system. How the hell are we going to do that? <laughs> well, the refinery has already been worked on on the boat partially with the decommissioned torpedo tubes. Okay. And the boiler room that we used as a brick prison. No, that's just an extra fuel bunker. Oh, that's an extra fuel bunker. That's not a refinery. It may not be an extra fuel bunker anymore with how low we are. Yeah, well, it never had a, any fuel in it in the first place. Yeah, we're taking the. Oh, it is. Uh... It has been converted into fuel storage. That has never been storing fuel because you guys never had anything for it. <laughs> Do I remember how much gish we'd say we'd give the city? Did Half. Half. Yeah, I, I remember, because, yeah, we went and did a whole bunch of fucking calculations. I'd have to go back and watch the actual stream to remember all the numbers. Oil unless, rigs like, for you guys down. I was like, hey, Bradford, how much do we need? How much do they need? Like, we went back and forth for a long time until we came to an answer that we only need about half of what we're pulling out. Yeah. I, I, well, I think it came down to you get, agreed to give them half... And then with giving them half, it would take you like two weeks or something to to get all that we. No, we didn't agree get... until we figured out how long it was going to take us. We did. We did all the math. math. Okay. It yeah. Some, something like that. Yeah. There. There was a lot of math. I remember we did a lot of math. I just don't remember exactly the numbers. I didn't write them down. If you guys didn't write them down, they're on a stream somewhere. Yeah. Oil rigs they for dummies. Remember. They are in that stream. <laughs> Oil rigs for dummies. Yep, that's what, that's what it's called. It. Yep. No, it was before that. Oil rigs for dummies was when we were making the rig. That's when we were figuring everything out. Oh, okay. So, we got everything we need. Is it time for us to go back now? Before night falls? And the people... uh, I think we just stay here. To take... you. I, mean... I think we should probably take a nap nap. <laughs> you, you could leave, but you are... Currently acquiring Gish, pulling it out of the ground, yeah. and it would be just soaking back into the dirt. Yeah, do we have present. any barrels that we can load? Not with you. Okay. None, none in the camp. Why did we start this if we didn't have any way to hold this shit? Proof of concept. Well, there are trees. Sure. Maybe I we can grab I didn't one. say you don't. We can, have we can any only barrels. move you just don't have any so much equipment at a time. Yeah. yeah we, we yes. Have... The barrel. Uh, again, again, why did we? The beasts were we priority. Without the barrels. Looking at the Bronte, uh, the Bronte side. Certain things will not tip over boats. Again, I do remember we, we just, just we we went over this just now that you're giving half of it. If you give them just unprocessed gish in advance, you can keep more of it for yourself at a later date. Yeah. Also, if we stop pulling it out now, we know it works and the drill is going to work and we know there's a good amount down there. Now we did get the barrels. Let's go tell Ready we need the barrels. Does Hound need a nap? Hound, do you need a nap? Kind of, yeah. Go to take the 30, take the 30, rest up, heal up, feel better about your life. <laughs> then we'll just sit down in the corner for 30 minutes, you're still I'll in just, trouble. I'll spend some hits. Uh, I'll, I'll throw, if, who's not taking a rest? I'm going to give you, give you, uh, you Isaac a thing to. But look, look over the, the the construction and make sure there's no flaws, and find a way to camouflage it from other predators besides the bullets. Investigation. Twenty one. Do I find 
Lots of cut down branches from all the lumber they used to that they cleared out of this. No, the thing that he handed clearing. me. Oh wait, wait, what did you hand him? Uh, he, he wanted me to find a way to camouflage. Okay, yeah, that's what I, I thought. I didn't hand you anything except for a note. Oh, a yeah, note. that's oh. that's what I thought. So I if you're rolling speak, investigation dumbass. to find camouflage, yeah. you find a lot of tree branches from all the leaves and, and branches and trees they cut down to make this clearing in the fort walls. Uh, I think he might have been investigating for the actual structural stability of the fort walls. As well, oh. I had to do both things. I had to roll a set of investigation if you would like. Yeah, go for it. Twenty-two. As long as you replace the dirt that came up when that bullet jumped Austin, there should be no problems with the structural stability of the uh, balls. Fill this hole. And we should be done. It won't fall. <laughs> so, well, I'll assume Wolfheart translates that to the rest, to the, the, the dozen workers or so that are left in the fort, and uh, two of them kind of just <sighs> grab what would pass as a rudimentary shovel and just start throwing dirt back into the hole. I don't think they will ever pass this tree. Ah, <laughs> trees. By the way, over the short rest, I'll be playing on the guitar. Trauma, trauma, nightmares, nightmares. All right, Justin, I need a wisdom save. <laughs> That's a three. <coughs> You're damn fine. It, damn it, Justin. I want you to be traumatized. I don't want to You're be the fine. only one hurting you. You well, are also awake. perfectly I fine. I don't think he's taking a break anyway. I I'm taking a rest as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, everyone who got hit, Silva's standing in the corner, resting, because he's still in trouble. Silva didn't get hit. <laughs> yes, he yeah, did. He did. Did? Oh yeah, that's right. He did the stomp, stomp. Yep, yep. He got stomped the same time you did. Yeah. So I thought him just stand in the corner and take a rest because he's in trouble. He was naughty. Yeah, he fucked he someone's fucked sister out of pity, <laughs> out, out of sorry, pettiness, not pity. It wasn't a pity fuck. It was a petty fuck. He fucked someone's sister. I mean, that's... It wasn't a petty fuck. It was a petty fuck. All right, Lieutenant Strange. <laughs> nice. Oh yeah. Silva's at uh, Silva's at full. Awesome. That can we install a squeaker for the stupid lizard to be attracted to him alone? A squeaker? Yeah, you know, like one of those dog toys. To take Wolfhawk's place this time. <laughs> well, I mean, I will say I did roll severity because you guys shot a bunch of guns. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I shot the BFG three times. Yep. And I rolled severity. But wait a little and, bit, you that Joseph, before we leave. And I got a number. Yeah. He's Is it still 69? lying to us. He rolled a it was, 13. It was not a 69. It was a 13. Or a 21. It's a 13. 420? Wait, that's not possible. Yeah, it was not 420. It was not whatever the fuck Josh just said. It said 13. It was not that. Okay. So we did jump while you nap? You do not get jumped while you nap. That's good. I wouldn't want to so outrightly try to kill you. It's alright. 
Yeah, well, I want to. <laughs> so, should, should we head back now, my dudes? To go get, tell people we're good to move some barrels? And see if we did jump? That's up to you guys. What time of day is it? Yeah, I'm down. It's probably... Uh, well, let's see. With all the crap you had to deal with, leaving a first light, and installing all the equipment, and then the fight, and the subsequent rest and dismemberment of your victims, it's probably about three in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Well, victims sounds like we're too. So plenty of time is what I'm hearing. Yeah. Yeah, as long as you don't run into any issues, you could quite easily be down the path and off the river by nightfall. Cool. Yeah, I'd say we can head out. Okay. That's without drugs. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and roll McSteel. I'm so glad we have you here to do my disadvantage stealth. Oh, hell yeah. That's the it's, it's not advantage, it's plus 10. Uh, no, my disadvantage stealth plus oh. 10. I want heavy armor, Jacob. Oh. <laughs> Same. That is... Uh, no. A 7. That's still above 20. You had one job, Jacob. It's a nat one. See, that's what Pathfinder is <laughs> Even nice. Even I beat Jacob. That's what Pathfinder is nice, Jacob, because that nat one, that's even what? if it's above 20, can still hide you from something. So, what I'm seeing here is... Here we go, fuck it, squeaky toy again. Um, Gats is kind of middle of the road. Ooh, Kubo oh, yeah. right. Hound, is, right. I forgot to change my thing. Or, oh, yeah. Hound, Hound is kind of middle of the road. Kubo is a it's, little on the painful side. 17. Isaac is virtually fucking invisible. And Jacob, okay. Nat 1. Dustin, I got a 19. I fucking hate 5e. E. Also, I got a, uh, I got a 23 with Pathfinder Trace. And... Silva got a 24. Silva beat me, goddamn. Actually, hold on. So 17. I might, I might have to roll him at disadvantage. What did I give him for armor? I don't I, he's got a full breastplate. I have to roll him at disadvantage. Uh, full plate? Or just a breastplate? Or breast, breastplate. Breastplate you shouldn't have to. That's not disadvantage? I don't think so. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's only, your... it's only heavy nope. armor. I think that's still considered medium. <laughs> I'll but take I may your be word wrong. for it. Yes, it is. Alright. Okay, that works. Then, yeah, so Silva got a 24. Ah, fuck. I miss Pathfinder. <laughs> Speaking of other systems, we'll talk later. <laughs> yep. Fun, well, fun. just this and Rebel of the Dead left. <laughs> never have to, so, never have to touch Five E ever again. You forget that he's part of my campaign too. What's I, our uh, path that we're uh, going do. down the? Uh... Um, since uh, I have to be within thirty feet of everyone, I'm probably in the middle. All right, so we'll say you're in the middle. I'll probably be near the front. Kubo's near the front. I'm assuming Austin is at the front. I am at the And front. a little bit ahead. Yep. Let's say I'm at the front with Kubo, so then I won't be where Austin is. So you're up front there with Kubo. Bradford walk beside Wolfheart. And Silva will bring up the Vanguard. I'm going to become lunch again. It's going to be another super lizard. I fucking bet it. 
I'll, I'll let you stand back up there, Howard. <laughs> All righty, and you're off. You're marching down the path. <laughs> down the merry path we go. Yay. The merry I'm safe path. Fucking lunch. The safest path of them all. Where no murderers hide in the alleyways. For this is not London. This is not London. <laughs> nice. That's uh, that's kind of true, though. I mean, I'm old enough. I would have been around Jack the Ripper. I'm pretty sure. Within three thousand years. Oh, I thought that was just a a dig at like actual London. I didn't think that was. I didn't know that was an eight character joke. That okay. was a joke. <laughs> I see. All right. It could yeah. be both. Yeah, Jack the Ripper would. Be just like what, a couple hundred, something like that. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, he's in like the eighteen hundreds. Yeah. Even I think. even Kubo would know about him. Yeah. Get up. God, I want to go to London. It is fucking ducks. All right. So Hound is at the front, followed by Isaac and Kubo and Wolfhard and. I didn't make fucking Bradford unique, damn it. And Citizen Bradford. And so on. All right. Out of here. I just made like a tree and leaf. Okay. Alright, so I need. What is the thing? D20. God damn it. <laughs> My passive is an 18. If it helps. It's an 18. Yeah. I'm uh, afraid that doesn't help. I didn't think so. You know, if this is a super lizard, should have lowered the lowest stealth again. <laughs> all I can imagine. Here's the thing it's still a 20 something. I know, but all I can fucking imagine is like a group of super lizards in the classroom. Picture of Wolfheart on the board. Well, you rolled a nine, right? This motherfucker. I rolled a seventeen. Oh, you rolled Man, a seven. You rolled a seventeen. It's wrong, us. Uh, um, yes. Austin, what did you roll? Uh, twenty-three. With the plus ten. Otherwise, it was a thirteen. Uh, I think I Josh, a you're the one that rolled the shit. A nineteen. Jacob, I'm sorry. No, you're fucking not. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. I literally, I went down the row order, and everyone else rolled a higher stealth than this thing's perception roll, except you. Even no, so I still here. roll. I still had a twenty. I just, I rolled the one. So it wasn't that one, and this is five e. And so I have to. <laughs> Oh no! I fucking hate it's even your bigger. Gut. Holy shit! <laughs> it's even bigger than the last one. I just look over. Not again! <laughs> oh, I uh, I can't reflect the damage back this time. But you're at it least within five feet of fear. me. It smells the fear. It smells the fear. All right. So uh. Jim. Two, two, no, no. That's a no. twenty-three to hit. Uh, I can it's, see this thing, uh, right? As it, it hits, right? which means it's I, it's I, doing. I can, I I can see this thing, right? It, yes. Okay, I can. It's do doing it. a fat five damage to you. Oh, okay. oh um, fuck! 
Okay, never Thank mind. you for that safety I... XP. Er, I got you gave me er, earlier, Irby. Yeah, yeah. I, That's I why I knew something was gonna happen to you. I just knew it. A strength save, Jacob? Anything but a strength save. See, when I level up to level 6, I get my aura of protection. Uh... <laughs> Fuck is... That's gonna I don't be see fun. my base. What the fuck? Did you hit space? Oh lord. I did not hit space. Oh. I'm an idiot. This is a... A plus three, because for some reason I have proficiency in strength save. Ranger! <laughs> you passed! You don't get knocked prone and bit in half. <laughs> Alright. Initiative time, boys. Wolf Hogs, I don't remember your tactics. Did it do it again? 19! Oh my god, it did, it did it again. It's doing it again. <laughs> wow, Gats is like first. Okay. okay. Hold up. Uh, I should. I need to so, change my name back to Hound. So for yeah, some yeah. reason, for, for some reason, I can't roll the initiative. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's doing the thing again, but that's another 17. It's a 17. 13. Okay, I'm gonna just uh, DC again. Okay. So we got Hound with ridiculous shit. I think. Right. You you rolled like 18 plus. Uh, 18 plus three, so yeah, 21. And then Isaac, what is yours? 19. 19, Wolfheart, you were 18? 13. 13? Okay, Kubo, you were... 17. 17, so you're there. Silva's got a 9, and the Super Lizard has an 8! Holy shit, we're all going first. Count's turn. I still got... Two grit shots. Actually, no, I have three, because I've I get a crit grit die back whenever I crit. Do I? Put them up. So. Put them up, please. <gasps> I get my channel divinity back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna aim for his lower jaw. Please. Okay. Uh, uh. So two aim shots at his lower jaw. All right. Both straight, though, yeah. Both straight, correct. So here's my two shots for my... So that's a... Lowest one is a... 12? No. 12. Sorry. Uh, give me a second. 11. That's a miss. And the other one's an... What was the 14 plus 8? Yeah. Yeah, that's a hit. <laughs> that's 13 damage. Alright. It's my turn. Alright, Isaac. Yep. You want to end your turn, Hound? I did. He did. Oh, it didn't move me over. There we go. Alright. So it's 5. Add 15. 25. 30! I'm technically flanking, right? But sure, it's a big ass fucking creature. Yeah. Awesome. Right. Oh! It has disadvantage on hitting anyone who's not me, and that's 17. Right. And I imagine that 14 plus 7 hits. Yep. Oh, no, only one of those numbers, so I instinctively grabbed two to the okay. last one, but I traded. Yeah, so that's we'll, 7 we'll plus four, 11. Alright. God damn it, I fucking upped the health this time. 
And now it has disadvantage on anyone who's not me. So it's just I okay. gave it like 40% more health this time. And it's not even going to get a turn. Is it already almost dead? A 12 doesn't oh, I... hit it, does it? No, 12 does not. Okay. How about uh, a 22? Yes. That, that hits. Alright, so that does 7 damage. Fucking Kubo, man! Alright. I'm gonna take my chances. I'm going to give it a... Give me control. Attack of opportunity, I just not moving me. Disadvantage, if it decides to take it. Yep. Why is it a disadvantage? Because I punched it. Oh, that's right. And I believe that lies to my next turn, but I'll double check for you. Well, I don't think a 12 is gonna hit. Nope, a 12 will not hit. You're okay. welcome, Jay. Don't um, <laughs> as part of my movement, I am using uh, Feline Agility, hmm. which doubles my movement speed on my turn until I stand still. Until, basically, I can't use it again until I stand still for, for a turn. Uh, all right. So, that doubles my... Uh, you got the zoomies. I guess where I had more movement than that, but I'll have to look into it. It doubles my 30 to 60, so... 5, 10, 15, 20... 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60... Hey, I think you still need to change that, because I'm pretty sure your movement speed is 40. It is. I just, I'm looking at the wrong thing. I'm looking at my climb speed again. Oh. I keep, I keep fucking doing that. So, that's another... <laughs> He's <laughs> fucking gone. <laughs> you have to cross the map to get me. Remember what happened to the last guy that ran off while you're fighting one of these? <laughs> running off? I'm just running out of effective range! When you got attacked by a pig. Hey, Jay, though. I didn't let's, run let's, away. Let's talk about how if I did that there. Hit, that would have been a crit for you. Uh, God question. Yeah. Are we... How close are we to the boat? Um... I know you use this map. I use this map because I don't really have another map. Um, you are not quite halfway to the boat. Okay, then I'm not going to um, drop concentration on um, pass without a trace. Then. Okay. Don't you that have helped to me so much last time. <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm not going to use Hunter's Mark. Is basically what I'm saying. Because okay. they both require concentration. All right. I will say, if you, if we were closer to the boat, you were running the wrong way. Well, yeah, but. Okay. All right. It's, the, your it's turn, the. It's more of the. Hey, let's get away from the thing that's trying to kill me. <laughs> and worry about direction we're going after it's dead. No, that yeah. is nowhere near the end of my turn. Oh, all right. Because everything I've done doesn't cost an action or a bonus action. It's just something I get to do because of my movement. Oh. Fancy. Yep. Mm -hmm. Doesn't it fit in half a super lizard trying to save Jade up on that? That's not something I really want to do because there's not a lot of enemies and it'll just hurt everyone else, so... I guess we will just shoot it twice. And I'm going to use my bow, because I really don't want to track... Wait, it's already been... Sh mm. Mm. It's already been shot. It's Everything in the 50-mile radius already knows we're here. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to use my gun. Pretty soon we'll be known as the... Uh, um, the that one works. misses. That one hits. And so Colossus Slayer will proc, because it's already taken damage. So it's 2d8. Uh, oh, if it's an end of the spectrum? 
right? 13, yes. And it's Silva's turn. Silva, in his infinite fucking wisdom, is just going to pull up his big fucking gun and shoot it twice. Oh. And miss both times. Infinite wisdom, my ass. <laughs> oh God. Hey, you got your he wish. may have. It got a turn. Inf infinite wisdom, maybe. Infinite a accuracy, not so much. Oh God, Bradford's right here. Oh God. Yes, he is. So it's gonna take a swing. It's at disadvantage. At you, Justin. At disadvantage. It's at disadvantage. Okay. I'm not sure that disadvantage matters. It could roll a one. All right. Fuck you, man. They can roll a wide. Let me dream. <laughs> and then, Josh, it's going to try to smash you with its fucking tail. Okay. Oh, that's right. It's not a disadvantage for you. No, it's straight for me. Yeah, all right. Um, yeah, I'm guessing a 13 is a miss. It is a miss, yes. All right. That's fucking disappointing. <laughs> well, okay. Big fucking gun. I'm I'll, gonna I'll do one more aim shot for its lower draw. One, dirty 20. That's a 11 damage. And my second shot. Which is a 16. Which is a hit. 13 damage. It's that 2 HP left, doesn't it? I will say that before I had upped its health, Often's first attack would have killed it. <laughs> <laughs> That means it's my turn. Did you end turn it then, Austin? Yes. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, there we go. So, oh, oh, I think that's a miss. Ah, fuck you. Fuck you, that's a miss. Okay. <laughs> How about this? I oh, man. That's another miss. <laughs> okay. okay. It doesn't have. It's not like it matters because he's not getting around to another turn. But it doesn't okay. have disadvantage anymore. I should have just cast the spell. Yeah. Okay. So just in case, I'm gonna just move here so I am in between him and Bradford. <laughs> <laughs> it could still bite down on Bradford's head over you. Well, this gives me more comfort. With the amount of guns, bullets I put into its jaw. <laughs> That's a fourteen. That's a miss. Come I put on. two big bullets into its jaw. Tell me, still has. Four There's buttons. the dirty twenty. Okay. Uh, I have four. I'm gonna smite this motherfucker. Twelve damage. Twelve damage. Yeah. Alright. Gonna do one more turn. Wait, no. Wolfheart's going to hit it. Silver can't hit anything. His infinite wisdom does not correlate to accuracy. He is not Odin. <laughs> um, I'm assuming both of those hit. You assume correctly. <laughs> blood and thunder. Blood and thunder. Plus... Plus eight. So that's what? Twenty-five? That sounds right. Yeah, because seven plus eight is fifteen. So I don't think it did a lick of damage. No, it did five no, to Wolfheart. It... Which was temporary hit points. Woo! Well, real hit points, but yeah. Let's all pull, let's all pull a tooth out. I will give Silva so, a super laser tooth. Was this thing actually bigger than the last one? Yes. So its teeth are bigger? 
Yes. Oh, yeah! Yes, so hence, question. hence why it had more health and did more damage. Dustin, it just never I, have, I have an honest question for you. How big is the biggest tooth? How big is the biggest tooth? Yes. Probably the two uh, front ones. How long were the teeth on Allosaurus? <laughs> Uh, It'd be like this long. Six inches. Yeah, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> I have to look something up quick. Uh, six inches. You're gonna make a knife out of its tooth. Oh. Six inches is this. Why do you have a ruler right next to you? I don't know. It's been here for years. Justin. I have a I have a <laughs> fucking tape measure in that toolbox down there. You're yeah, an engineer. Toolbox is fine. You're an engineer. <laughs> I'm talking about at the desk that Justin is at. Hey, Abby, what's the brown box? I have a fucking uh, I have I have a tape measure in my jacket pocket right now. Yeah, you. you're an engineer. Again, <laughs> it doesn't matter. You're not shoving it up your ass. So what you look up, J Top? I'm seeing how long like, cause I didn't, I could, I didn't know how long a, sh a sh short sword was. Uh, more than six inches. Yep, it, it states it's usually twelve oh. to thirty. It is considered a short yeah. sword, so it looks like I'm just like, gonna make a dagger out of my next one. Uh, a, a gladius is like sixteen to eighteen. Yeah. And that's Do a pretty have... short sword. Well, just take. I, I mean, I. Is this one for your honor? And here's this one for your knife. And silver! The blade is typically from 12 to 20 inches. Mm -hmm. That's probably counting the entire length of the sword, Dustin. From. Your butt to tip? And yeah. the blade. Yes. And the blade to counterweight. Whatever that end piece is called that I can't remember for the life of me. The hilt? Pommel. The handle? Pommel. The... Pommel. I will, I will, uh, how does Silva respond to his tooth? He, he just kind of sits there and looks at it and then tucks it into a pocket on his vest. Good job, Silva. That's a great honor. I'm going to look at Bradford holding a tooth in a hand. Like, my tooth is on me, just one in a hand, looking at Bradford, like, did, do we give him one? Wolfhart was unconscious the last combat, and he got one. Bradford stood there. Does he get one? You gave Bradford one last time? I didn't remember that. I didn't hand these out last time. The Here you go, did. Bradford. One for you, too. You don't know, Bradford. <laughs> but it was honor. You are part of the party when it attacked. You survived. But did he? Yay! Figure? This one was but, bigger than the last. Does that mean the first yeah. one we fought was a baby? Perhaps. It's an adolescent. An adolescent, likely. Or, God forbid it was a baby, and this is just the adolescent. Bradford, given what Stood we've foreshadowing run into. Stood foreshadowing yourself, <laughs> Dustin. Bradford, given Dustin, what we've run into. Fuck yourself. I'm more comfortable believing that this is the adolescent and what we killed was a baby. Does that make you more comfortable? I didn't say it made oh, me God, more comfortable. So I cursed. said well, what we ran into, I am more, but it's more believable. I'm going to roll stealth and not roll a, a one this time. Hey, uh, hey, 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 Dustin, how big was the super lizard tooth on, uh, the hunter? <laughs> Not a one! One on the hunter? Yeah. It's probably about three inches. So he had another, another adolescent. So, so he killed a small one. So we're gonna literally show up with a bigger tooth and go, Hey guys, guess what we did? Yep. And we're gonna shit bricks. Went for what? Killed a second super lizard. Bigger than the first one. But we're on the same level as the hunter now, because he's killed two of them. 
Yep. yep. The difference is it's bigger, so it counts for more. Size is in everything. It is when it, it is comes when to teeth. <laughs> it is when it comes to trophies. It, do, it is when it comes to teeth. <laughs> yeah, I can't fucking believe how fast. I am going to have to homebrew all sorts of fun shit and make it way more powerful than I need, think I need to make it. Dustin, this extra attack, hey, hey, man. When you just, just, just remember, there's a certain point where you do that, where you throw a single enemy at your party that you think they should be able to handle, and it fucking curb stomps them. Just be yes. careful with that. I, I, think I don't necessarily want to curb stomp that. you, but like, we so have been the, getting kind of big for our bitches. The first except combat, for, except for Jacob. The first combat today was supposed I, to I be I just a rolled singular. a 30 stealth. The first combat today was four. supposed to be a singular bullet. And you yeah, guys well, took, fucked the shit out of it, so I well, threw a second one at it. Two bullets. And, and it knocked you and then died. <laughs> I wouldn't call that a overly challenging combat. I need to get you guys something that's a challenge. Dustin, the other thing. And I don't like I... the words he's saying, guys. And I have an idea. But I'm going to have to homebrew the shit out of this <laughs> thing. Because there is a stat block for these. But the stat block is at like a CR rating of like a quarter or a half or something. Maybe you should take that as a hint. For how much more powerful I'm gonna make it? Um, yes. There no. is somewhere, uh, uh, like tables that you can look at for recommended CR level for homebrewing stuff. Yeah. Uh, like whether to hit should be your average damage. The okay. big thing to remember, and don't don't ever forget this. CR is ninety-eight percent bullshit. Correct. Is ninety eight percent inaccurate as hell. What's yeah. the one that's like a quarter of CR, but it is a Imps. fucking notorious? The pincer. Imps. 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 The Imps. Imps. Imps are so oh, strong. Imps. Yeah. So, so. Or the thing well, that so climbs here. up ceilings and then drops and kills you. The, hmm. the 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 thing I was talking about, right? That I had an idea for, but I'm gonna have to homebrew something that's a little more powerful. It's got thir the the actual stat block that I see out here, thirteen AC, thirty hit points, uh, ten foot ground speed, an eighty foot fly speed. Oh, I'm sorry, but the eighty foot fly and a speed singular and a singular bite attack. Dustin, I just want you to think about something. If it is smart. We should never be able to hit that thing. To intelligence. You know how we're going to deal with that if you throw it at us? I'm going to flash a shiny coin and it's going to be like, Ooh, shiny, shiny, and dive at it like a fucking bird and how it's just going to blow its head off. Like I said, I'm going to homebrew a more powerful version of this thing. Was it but because I said pterodactyl? Wait. Uh, I'm not looking at a pterodactyl stat block, oh. no. Oh. No, what I'm looking at is much larger than a pterodactyl. We can tie ah, so a quadracil. Or a rock. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> a no, quadracil? A rock is a CR like 13, my boy. <laughs> what the fuck is a quadracil? I thought that's what the bigger fucking pterodactyl was called. So. Anyways, we, we continue on our travel yeah. to the boat. Uh, so I typed in Quedracil, and I got Quadracil, which is a vaccine for diphtheria, tetanus, pertussis, and polio. Let's let's just roll on to the boat, my dude. Let's get that one, our kids. <laughs> do, do we make it to the boat safely? Um, I don't know, do you? Yeah, you do. Throw another super lizard. We can take. <laughs> I, I have a 30 stealth right now, man. I have a 29 stealth. I have a dirty 20. Yeah, you guys make it back fine. So, so uh, oh. if... 
anybody, Eric, Jacob, if you had rolled anything except a nat one there, that super lizard would not have seen any of you. In fact, it would have been a problem when we got back. You know what, though? The next group that came back might not have been so lucky. You know what, though? Yeah, like, Jacob, you fucking that up saved lives, and you only lost 5 HP because of it. Put them up. Yeah, the next group may not have been so lucky. So, Silva, that, that thing you have now, the tooth, is a badge of honor. Badge of honor. So, uh, just wear it with pride. And don't use Trust it to go me. sleeping around. Uh, who said nothing about sleeping around? He's I'm married. a married man, don't you know? Yeah, so, but that's the thing. I don't know if I knew you. that before this point. I yeah, knew that. He's married to your bolt. You have one of the people on your boat. He, he's he's married to Chak's sister, who is the daughter of the. Oh, I high thought he chief meant like in his in his own clans of Salisa home. I mean, in his, or in so his they claim. World. No. Yeah. No, he's married here. Uh, also, Silva, I'm pretty sure, from my understanding, that is the third one of these that's ever been killed here. Didn't you guys do one already? Yes, sir. Yes. So you guys killed the second and third? Yes. They're not that tough. Silva? I'm just going to shake I want you my to look stick that is, has a gun attached yeah. to it. Yeah, Silva, I want you to look down at your gun, and look at Wolfheart's bow. Then look at your gun. Then look at Wolfheart's bow. Now, I suppose you may have a point with that. See, <laughs> <laughs> that's tough. Gun. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> It should be smooth sailing home. I hope. And pray. But you know what we can't do this time? Drop the drill bit. Silva, I'm so glad you held on to that thing like your life depended on it. Oh, it did. Well, at least we didn't run into no sandbars or... Nothing that would make me need to drop it. Yes. Yes, that is good. I'm glad your old arch nemesis, Sand, decided to sit this one out. <sighs> Sand. <laughs> Sand. It's rough and coarse and it gets everywhere. So irritating. New cannon! Silva is now Anakin. <laughs> I just found a different homebrew of this creature. Yeah. That is a lot closer to to what I want. Oh, that's good. So do we make it safely back to the town? Yes, then? you do. Town? Yes. Oh, okay. Who who wants to tell Ready the dead news? Oh. That sir. step one of twenty is completed. Yeah, uh, step is one of twenty is good news. Is good day. Fair enough. Oh, we should thank Nachimur for the boats. I am gonna say let's wrap it up because yeah. I'm gonna go to bed because I do have to. Yes, I know. So we'll 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 leave it off with you guys made it back to town safely. Yeah. Just because right. I'm not calling in tomorrow unless I wake up, you know, dying. So. We can make I, wake up dying. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to bed. Alright. Before you leave, I, I do have something I want to bring up. Okay. But, so, uh, recently, namely over the weekend, y'all are familiar with Cyberpunk, right? Yes. Yes. There's a TTRPG out for it. <laughs> Cyberpunk Red. 
It looked really neat. <laughs> the way they do things is chart based. So like your stats, you can either roll, uh, you roll a d10 and you either take the whole stat block or you can roll a d10 for every stat and take whichever stat aligns with that number, for the number and that stat. Really neat. And I would recommend y'all at least look into it a bit. And if it seems equally neat to you guys, we might do something on Friday where we try something new, see what we think. I work on Fridays. And, oh yeah, you so. do, don't you? Goddamn job, man. I have another D&D on Fridays. Oh, fuck you! I don't know <laughs> if I close that Friday. The Toby Dame is gone. I think I close that Friday. All right, I and tried. And if Jake closes that Friday, I close that Friday. And if I, I close that Friday, then Justin closes that Friday. I tried. I close every day that I work, so. Yeah, I tried. I tried. Friday, Friday, Friday. <laughs> All right, but yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap up here real quick yeah. with the stream. Ever good night, fuck them. Yeah. I'm sorry we knew Jesse over Lizard. Again. Uh, I, I am. Um... He's muted. Dustin. You muted yourself, Dustin. Dustin. Oh, he's sending Dustin. off in the stream. Oh. Dustin! Oh, Dustin! I know you can they can hear totally me. hear us. Motherfucker, I <laughs> Yes, we know too. We're just fucking with you. <laughs> Deafen yourself if you're not wanting to hear our banter. <laughs> wow. Wow, there were so many other simple solutions. <laughs> he could have deafened himself. That's all he needed to do. Because now well, we're just going to be talking over him. Well, let's hope he uh, did the. Uh audio thing correctly, maybe they can still hear us. <laughs> they probably I hope are. they can. It'll be really funny. <laughs> you know, this is funny. For Dustin's <laughs> first stream, the end of it will be just filled with commentary of us talking <laughs> over him. And there he is, just sitting there with his hair sitting all like that. God, oh, yeah. how does he get his hair to look yeah, so look bland? <laughs> oh, so, by the way, when I told my uncle that I was funding our campaign with mayonnaise, he said that's the whitest thing he's ever heard. <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. Hey, have all of you ended your streams? No. Yes. Nope. Yeah, I can now. Yeah, end your stream. All